Jackson. Best dance boys podcast, period. Melon. This is the best dance sports podcast period. This is 806 the show. We've got a fantastic, <laughs> fantastic show for y'all today. Yes, As always, I am joined by my co-host REG. Oh, oh, for the day is a Padres fan. Switch. I was last year because Juan Soto. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we don't win on the Yankee hat, right? Nah, nah, I can't nah. Right. <laughs> I can't be his fan now. Nah. No, pretty sure. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. <laughs> and Sanchez. That's me. <laughs> that is him. The co host. I'm here. I have a special, special guest, former Salem High Hooper, burr, 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 burr. current yeah. girls head basketball coach, burr, 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 burr. David Gazzotti, everybody. Hey. Hey. Welcome, man. Thank, thank, thank welcome, you for having welcome. me today. Yeah, welcome. You ready? You ready to talk a little sports? Yes, sir, I'm ready. Right. Hit it. I want to dive right in. Usually I have. Yeah. <laughs> like I think last time we argued about what, uh, a future for like your, <laughs> so for, for your you never know how the show's gonna start. Sometimes we get right into sports, and sometimes we argue about future and Drake for fifteen minutes, <laughs> right. and then talk about sports later. <laughs> as long as sports happens, <laughs> eventually sports, we get to it. Sports sports we get to it eventually. All right. So Celtics pretty much been running through every single team other than like the top four. I don't know what Hawks. <laughs> No, Hawks got him a couple times. Yeah, two in a row. But other than that, I, so I think I think Sanchez before the, the show started, uh, or Baldwin actually said we have like what six, seven games left. Seven so, games yeah. exactly. So do you think it's time to just chill? You know what I mean? Just just kind of like for the Celtics. Oh, Tatum's thumb hurts. He ain't gonna play this one. You know what? Uh, Jalen Brown's toe feels a little weird. I think he's gonna <laughs> sit out this one. I feel like. They already do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they, they kind of already yeah. do it. But I feel like they should kind of, you know, um, keep the foot on, you know, on the pe- on the pedal. Yeah. But like, because like, if you think about it, like a lot of the teams are playing the best basketball right now. And it's like, true. and um, so if you look at it, like our two twenty two thousand twenty two, right? We had a great second half, mm-hmm. which you know we ended up going to the finals. And then like, obviously, like Tatum said, he was gassed. But like, I feel like you kind of have to balance yourself. Yeah. But like last year, they were just like. We had a great first half and then relaxed. I feel like that kind of led into the playoffs. Like we kind of True. played like we lost games that we should yeah, have lost, especially like momentum, Atlanta. Yeah. We went to six games. Like yeah, why? that's crazy. So, like, <laughs> that just, crazy. Just things like that. I feel like this year it's like all right. We had a great you know all year long, but like they had their days where like you know set out, but like now it's just time to like you know focus, like play hard, right. like you know bring the momentum into the playoffs. Absolutely, no, so, for sure. So have to, yeah, yeah. They, were say, they were saying that um, well, Missoula was saying he was going to start experimenting with like lineups and Which and different things. Should did that. Earlier, honestly, no, true, but that's why you see the little losses that you kind of seen in the past I mean, couple. He, like, like mm-hmm. <laughs> it was mad fun. I was literally, I had a little get together, and I could hear people in the back and in the corner, like, "Yo, fuck, Celtics suck. What is, what's going on?" I'm like, "Yo, they lost. This is like, this is the, this is why the fans hate hate Boston fans because people are like, y'all, we, we have the best record in the league. They lost two in a row, and you guys are just literally We're so ahead of the East. We, <laughs> we clinched like, the playoff ten. berth like a yeah, uh, All Star like, break. <laughs> it's, it's a long season. We're just and, like and, a, a spoiled fan base. Absolutely. Something, something. Like, we, we love to panic super quickly and just yeah. kind of forget. Like, oh, we were just panicking last week. Now we're good. Like, <laughs> yeah. we're like just back and forth. Yeah, back and we just ran off 10 wins in a row. Like, yeah. you forget when you're win- You don't notice when they're Funny winning. Brothers, like, at one point, we were boring. Shit. Like, I wouldn't watch the games. I was like, ah, we're just going to win. We're just going to win by 25. 20, 30, every yeah. Time. Yeah. 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 The whole, like, Salem State days, we used to walk in and, like, watch them spank, like, fuck, uh, what Worcester State by, like, 35 points <laughs> every week. It was a fun game. How, how, it do was. Guys, how do you guys feel about, you know how, like, everyone just says, oh, we live and die by the three? Like, how I, do you guys feel about that? Like, us taking so many threes? Um, I think that statement, it doesn't hold that as much value as it used to because, like, Everybody lives and dies with a three at this point. Yeah. Like if you, if you look at who's the worst three point shooter or attempts and made in the league, I guarantee you they're probably one of the lowest records in the league. It's the day, day and age is we just do it better than everybody else at this point. So why not? But that, yeah, that 
it could cost you in a game seven. I've seen I've seen Houston yeah. go one for twenty five yeah. in a playoff game. I mean, it was hard and he chokes. But that's why I was wondering. I was like, I felt like once you shoot a lot of threes, you're kind of making yourself easy to guard because like yeah. teams know we want to shoot it. Yeah. You know, like it's just like they're gonna try to take it away. And like if you don't, if all year long you just play shooting the threes, and let's just, let's just say we have a game where like we can't shoot, we can't make our threes. Like, yeah, I feel like, it, 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 yeah. there's always going to be those games yeah. in the playoffs. Always, and it, hopefully, it's not a game seven so, or a game. That's all. That's how I feel like. The, that's what. That's the test. Championship teams win games they're not supposed to. You know what I mean? Like games where you have bad shooting, you just figure it out just because. Yeah, you're, you're you know what I mean? You, you, you're harder, hustling like, harder. You rebounding you, more. You're rebounding well. You're playing good defense. That 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 game. You just some days. You know the basketball gods are not on your side, and the shot is it's not falling, but. Games are winnable, but if you're going that and getting blown up by 25, then, you know. So, yeah. to add to that, the best two three-point percentage teams are OKC and the Celtics. Top two teams, Top in, two the teams in the league. <laughs> and the worst team is the Wizards, Spurs, uh, Grizzlies, Pistons. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Look at that. Let's take a rocket size and see that. Like, no, so I just feel like the way, like, the, the game is today, it's like yeah. regular season is a lot of threes. That's why you see, like, Miami, like, last year. Like, they didn't shoot – you know, they didn't really true, shoot as much like true. that. So, like, they didn't have a great regular season. And then when the playoff comes, it's like, it slows down. It's a lot of, like, you know, running the plays, cutting to the basket, mm, stuff, yeah. like, stuff like that. Like, driving Two to the points, basket. Feet but, like, you feel me? Like, I feel like the Celtics, we just kind of rely too much on, like, uh, we just, I feel like maybe maybe they're doing this to just kind of get the season over with. Yeah. Which probably makes sense. But, like, I just hope they're prepared to, like, you know, like, when yeah, the game slows down, like. It's not a lot of, it's not a lot of NBA teams that, like, everybody, you're starting five, everybody on the court can shoot threes. Mm. Mm. Most of the time, like most of the time, I like every, uh, whoever's out there can at least hit a. Yeah, I Horford just sits in the yeah. corner. <laughs> yeah, I he's, like he's literally made have, a living off doing that the last two we have years. So many options that, like, if Tatum's off, JB can step up. If they're off, we have Derek White or uh, Porzingis that can step mm. up. I feel like this year is definitely. Can you name a Celtics who, who, can, who can't hit a three? I don't think I can even name one. Even the big men can can shoot. <laughs> No, I can't name one Celtic on the road. Is he still there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's deep, that's deep on your back. <laughs> <laughs> so you're talking defender. about your starting eight, nine, ten players on, in your rotation. Yeah. Because if you think about it, too, like playoffs, only, like, what, seven, eight players play? Yeah, so it's like, and they're all going to exactly. be able to hit threes. Yeah. That's what this ho- last month is basically preparing for. Like, you know, who are going to be those eight players that are going to yeah. play? People don't think that, like, they have been playing that well, but for some reason, Joe Mazzulla just got coach of the month, and U- Udoka is the old he meant Udoka? Yeah, 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 Udoka. They both got uh, I wish, I wish, coach of the month. I wish you didn't bring up Ime, man. I love it. <laughs> I feel nah. like the, the, the I wish I wish you kept them. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I, mean, I think everybody does. <laughs> we, I feel, Look what he's I, doing I, with the yeah, Houston Rockets. That's what annoys me the most because we like we saw him go to Houston and it was Houston Rockets trash team and we're all just like they still don't damn. Mean he might be able to figure that out over there and look. They might they might make the the playing tournament yeah. if Warriors keep you know They're dropping games. Right, no, eleventh right now, about to to the take spot. It's yeah, just kind of crazy. Like a game or two behind, right? Something like I think that. It might be I one think game. I think it's one crazy game. Crazy winning streak. Yeah. Too, I think right. a lot of the playoffs is comes down to possessions where coaching matters more in the playoffs than it does in the regular season. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what I mean when you're sitting there like man, oh, man, oh man, look, Spolstra literally. Bolstra is like Chess. toy, put, toyed with, with this dude last year. Like, yeah, nice try, buddy. I've I'll been here and won championships. LeBron uh, and JJ Redick. Of course. Well, I didn't see the new one that came out uh, yeah. tomorrow or today. Him, him talking about Spolstra in these in these like episodes is just like you just realize like I mean, you, well, yeah, you knew before, but yeah. like, Spolstra is a fucking genius. Man. Realize that <laughs> Spolstra was in the system as the photographer. Yeah, like way, way back, 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 back when he was young. Crazy. So he saw every aspect of the of the organization. So he grew the right way. Right. Uh, Fatter than like a, somebody Riley. who just played. Yeah, under Pat Riley, learning everything from his The Godfather. Goal. Yeah, right. Uh, he, he's really a great coach. Like I saw, t- I don't know if everyone saw today's episode. I don't want to spoil it. No, I haven't. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not really going to spoil it, but like, That's so good. like one thing he did, like he literally, like you said, he started as a videographer or whatever. Yeah. He like really studied the game and like you should have seen, once you watch it, you'll see what he, how like, you know how they lost to the Mavs the next year. Like that summer he went and like t- talked to someone like yeah. in a different sport and use that, you know, the scheme oh, in yeah. basketball. I saw, I saw so that like, clip this morning, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it was just like, you know, he's just a smart coach. Like, he just goes, you know, outside the box, whatever. All right. So, you you know. got to do sometimes. And, and yeah. then we have a coach that 
I'm not even 100 percent sure he wanted to be head coach when he got names. Like he he might have been oh, like me? he might have been like <laughs> Who, me <laughs> me <laughs> like I I'll, I'll, I guess I'll do it. But he got two two coach of the month. Yeah, your team, so, your, yeah. Your, very, yeah, your team is loaded, bro. <laughs> like, they did well last year with loaded, him. You know? yeah. I mean, he's doing well. Hey, I don't think last year, what did we finish this? I don't think we were number one in the East last year, right? Last year? No, nah, we weren't. It was. Uh, no, we were second. Yeah, yeah, we, second. We, we let go of the gas, kind of. Yeah. yeah towards which, the, the momentum. Yep. We can yep. carry it. If we stay healthy, there should be no Dude, reason. I personally don't think there's any team in the East that can beat us in seven games. In the East, no. No, I don't think so either. Seven games? No. no. <laughs> oh, no, man. I, I feel like it comes up. It comes down to us. Like if yeah. we mess yes. up, you know, like we just don't play. Right. Which, yeah. you can Which, instead of sitting <laughs> players now, I feel like just reduce their minutes a little bit. Yeah. Instead of a playing a balance. thirty-five yeah. minutes, play yeah. twenty-five today. You know what I'll do if I was a coach? Yeah. Yo, you want y'all want to sit? Momentum. Y'all want to rest? Give me a twenty-five point lead going in the fourth, and you can chill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want to do that? Yeah, yeah you got Literally. y'all slap teams and you can chill. That's how they got. They, I mean, they did try that. I guess Atlanta. If you think about yeah, it, yeah, yeah, they did. Oh yeah, true, true, true. That's exactly what they did. A lot of players <laughs> who don't get you know burned. So it was just like, all right, they started putting everybody in. <laughs> <laughs> they blew the lead. Yeah, the Trey Young is like, all right, <laughs> to bring I'm, a, I'm out here sure? against y'all best players. I'm cooking <laughs> y'all. Have to bring them back in. <laughs> well, yeah. people, players, not my players, but teams like Atlanta. They have nothing to lose, nothing yeah. to gain. Like, I mean, they're in the playing tournament. Yeah, but they know. Yeah. Like, they even know. They, they know why we in this tournament. We, like, you give me whatever. It's one, two, three, can't cool. Game seven points on you guys right now. Like, I'll treat it like uh, <laughs> Madison Square Garden. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'll drop 60 on y'all. <laughs> right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> the plans this year, though, they're oh, going to be interesting. They're definitely full size. Even the East, because like you think about it, like Philly can play either Boston or the Bucks first, like first round. And Listen, and, B, and B just got back. Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> Celtics. I don't want Philly in the first round. I don't want Philly in the first round. But we could. We always. No, no, no. Get I, past Philly. I, I, <laughs> yeah, but like it's Philly's at eight right now. I think matchup wise, we'll be fine like, with Philly. Yeah. I just don't want. We can also get Miami. So it's like Seven, well, I want yeah. Miami. I don't know. But like I want to see the Bucks play. You know, Philly because like it'll be a good matchup. Yeah. And B pretty much healthy, but just not really in shape, but healthy. I guess Giannis. Like we haven't got to see that. Yeah, so, that would yeah. be a good one. Well, oh, it was the last time we see Damon. How healthy in, uh, is he? Who? In yeah, Joel Embiid right now. True. Yeah, that is true. They, true. they said we, last, last episode, I looked it up, but they were saying like he'll be called back in if they have a chance to advance and get a better seating. So does that mean he's going to be 100%? I'm not sure. I think they put him in just so he can get a better yeah. seating. So he played, what was it, last night? Yeah, he, yeah. Played, he played well. He played really well. Yeah. <laughs> it was... He's thing, still, so. he's still, yeah, he's still yeah. drawing MVP. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's still MVP candidate. So or was when, when, well, when he's healthy? It's yeah, he's a, that is he's crazy. A yeah, All right. Yeah. Quick, going back to the Celtics. Mm-hmm. A question for you guys. Other than JT or J, uh, Jalen Brown, for Celtics to win a championship this season, who, what player is the X factor? Yo, looks like you're really you're in some bad. thought right now. So I'm gonna <laughs> ask you first. I would say Derek White. All right. Okay. He's he just can I don't know, he can do everything on the court and I feel like if he we win most games that he goes off. Yeah. You know, of course, pretty of much if he's killing it, we put an option we're we're in good good yeah. company. Yeah. I would say Derek White. And on both sides of the court. Me, I'm going with Porzingis. I was going to say Porzingis. That's 27 cuz he's two, the one who wasn't here last year, you percent. know. Was, Seven three, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> He's like number three or four in blocks the season. So it's like, because we know JT. You know, JB if you really talk about yeah. it, most people on the Celtics, like you, they have one job, like an easy job. That's how it was before. Porzingis, you j- all you gotta do is block shots <laughs> and score. Whatever, bro. We don't <laughs> even. <laughs> like, yeah, we're not scoring bad. ten. Trust me, scoring twenty. You're gonna 30, get the chance 15. to do it. <laughs> it's all cool with us as long as you get yeah. rebounds and block. We have enough people to so score. Are you saying position basketball is a winning factor rather than this positionless game we're playing the last couple of years? Sometimes True. structure is good. If, <laughs> if, if you go into a game and you say, "I'm just here for rebounds," you're gonna get like thirty rebounds. It, it, it's a team's gonna do good if everybody's playing their role. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you just gotta buy into it, yeah. not try to be a superstar. You right. see people, teams like the Spurs where everybody's trying to shoot it, like give yeah, the ball yeah. to Wemby. Yeah. Wemby like, <laughs> that's, that's back in the like, day, like, Marcus Smart was trying to be freaking. Yeah, yeah I don't understand <laughs> that about the Spurs. At one point, you get the coach, you're like, bro, 
Do you see this? Do you see him? He is seven, Give him nine. the ball. Yeah. <laughs> stop <laughs> shooting. Like, stop. Boy, yeah. I like, yo, I I'm literally, play too. <laughs> I've never like laughed at like stat lines. Like, I'm literally just going through YouTube and I'm like, does that say 40, 20, 5, and 8? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Yeah, right. You, I mean, it's getting crazy. LeBron, you got one, two years. Steph, you got one, two years. Because if, uh, if he, when we get someone to play with him, it's a wrap. Yeah. yeah. It's a wrap. You're not guarding see, him. He doesn't even know what he's doing yet. Like it's I kind of, just, I kind of want to see Trey there. Like Trey. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, I think he's work. a perfect fit. Atlanta, he's not, they're not going anywhere. Like, no. 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 Just nothing. give him. You, you, you gave it your all. Yeah. <laughs> you tried your best with hey, the Hawks. Hey, it, it didn't work. <laughs> Y'all tried. Uh, who, you, who you think but, is the most? Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, so to me, I feel like Porzingis, he's, go, he's, gonna, he's, gonna, he's going to do what, you know? Everyone, he's gonna do what he's expected to do. Yeah. But the X factor, I'm in between, like you said, um, White or Hauser. The oh, reason why Hauser. I say that, the reason why I say that okay. is, um, so we seen, we seen White kind of have a breakout year this year. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. But like, I feel like last year he kind of had like a little similar, like during the regular season. But like mm-hmm. playoffs, he kind of. Fell yeah. off a little. I feel like if he can stay consistent, like what he's been doing during the regular season, it's gonna help us a lot. The reason why I'm stuck in between, you know, him and Hauser is because, um, so, like I said earlier, teams are gonna know, you know, we're, we're, we want to shoot threes. So like they'll try to take those away. So I know Tatum and Brown, you know, we try to drive in, get their buckets, whatever. Yeah. Because you know, the three level scores, they can do whatever. Right. Yeah. But like they're gonna get those doubles where like. Hauser will be open and White will be open. Like you have to hit those. Yeah. So it's like I feel like they ha- they're gonna yeah. be the biggest factor. You know, you know, Pritchard gonna hit it. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, yeah. think, like, think about like the think about like the OA team. Like you had a, a game where, like Eddie House went for like twenty four. Yeah, yeah. You, you know need, what I mean? You need those you type need of games those, like, like that. A James Posey from the corner. Yeah, yeah. corner yeah. shot. Hauser's average is eight point eight. Their shots. I'm yeah. telling you, like it's gonna be easy for Tatum and Brown. Like right. I feel like they're the X factors. That's how I feel. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like Houses right. shooting almost fifty percent from three. You better eight point eight points per game. You better like, to, get, to get minute to get eighty eight percent free throw. His, his numbers like regular. I saw his numbers like for the regular season. Like they've been you know pretty consistent each year. Mm-hmm. It's just he doesn't play much in the playoffs. So like yeah. this year, I feel like they're gonna trust him. Like all right, yeah. You know you've been in here for what three years? This is third year. Yeah, right? three year. Three years. Like we trust you not in the playoffs. You have to hit these shots. You better hit these shots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are definitely out of here. You yeah. started ten <laughs> games this year too. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we mentioned a little bit about the uh, playing tournament in the out, out in the West, uh-huh. and that uh, Ime is right behind those Golden State Warriors. So here's my question: whether they honestly whether they make it or not, I don't think it really matters. Yeah. Is their run finally over? Is it, is, is it, is it a wrap? I think so. Yeah. I think, so. <laughs> I, th- I think it is over when it comes to, like, um, their dynasty. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's over for Steph, though. I agree. I, you know, agree. like, I don't I don't agree with the on one or two years team? on LeBron. Uh, to win a championship. Oh, to win I a didn't championship. say playing. I, I know, I know. I answered that question first, and then I said. Okay. To I, stay on the team or <laughs> go somewhere else? No, I don't think I Steph go goes. Uh, well, I want him to go. Like, I feel yeah, like, that'd be dope. I feel like the Warriors should come to him. Like, you know, you gave us rings. You know, you've been a part of this organization for so long. Like, where do you want to go? Like, I think everybody else goes before go. he does. Yeah, exactly. I feel like they should give him yeah, the option. Like, do you, you want to stay here or go somewhere? And win, where do you want to you know? go? Because he, at any point, like, I feel like he he can have such longevity in this league like a Ray Allen did. Mm-hmm. Even when, like, he can't be that superstar. He's gonna be a clutch shooter anywhere. Yeah, for the rest of his career, like yeah. he'll average like twenty points regardless. And he's in such <laughs> great shape, like you know him and Ray Allen yeah. always running around and yeah. um, staying in basketball shape. I think uh, Clay should already be looking at houses somewhere else because he's <laughs> definitely gone. I can see you. I hope he has his real real estate agent I can already see called up because you are out of here. I can see him on the tip of the just know this. Shooter. It's, it's like, spot like, bro, shooter. you lost your starting job to who? I don't even. I don't even remember the guy's to name. Himself. Yeah, to, yeah. yeah, himself. I feel like to himself. <laughs> I feel like 
the injuries was tough. Like, yeah, because like, like, he still has his days, but I feel like it's all in the head at this point. Yeah, like, yeah. He, if he's if he goes somewhere else, I, I shouldn't. Like a lot of people want him to go to the Lakers. Like, so, like yeah. I don't think it makes sense. Like you got. I feel like for him, you should go to like a team that's not a contender. Like just uh-huh. get back into playing. You know, have fun again. Like I feel like now it's just like the Warriors and want them to you know to be the 2016 Warriors and stuff. You like don't that. want that Lakers attention. The LA yeah, like that's too much. Like, with, with, and the media you know still getting in your head. He's not doing bad though. Like, Seventeen. What? Uh, Seventeen. Like, yeah, it's not, so, it's not okay. bad, but it's like people are comparing him to what he was before. Of course. Like, well, he's older, and you know, worn down from the years of going straight to the finals. Like it, yeah. it takes a toll on your body. Yeah, I mean, two gigantic, thirty-four injuries, years old, huge injuries. Yeah, he's thirty-four too. He's out here. <laughs> back to back. Yeah, young, bro. Tough. No, he's gonna get uh, overpaid by somebody. Oh, of course. And he's gonna have some mediocre seasons, and then, you know, in ten years, we won't even remember that team he played for. That's his problem. His problem is going to, yeah, it's the only remember the Warriors. Of course. I don't see how they keep Draymond, but I feel like they're going to keep Draymond. Didn't they just pay him, though? Yeah, but you can move people. Of course. You got to get rid of him. That's one of, the, that's one of the reasons, too, I feel like, why they're not as big as the fact. That obviously, Clay, everyone knows that. But, like, Dre, the fact that he can't hit threes anymore like he used to oh, I hurts know. him a lot. Because. Or, yeah. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I feel like he, used, like, the fact that he was a threat at the three-point shot, like, he used to just, you know, like, he can pump fake, he can, you know, drive to the basket. He'll be more, like, a better playmaker. Yeah. Like, the fact that, like, whoever's guarding him is just camping in the paint yeah. makes it hard for it's Wiggins just... and Kaminga. Like, it's yep. just, like, they can't, you know, the paint is clogged whenever they drive in. Like, it's kind of, it's really hard. But, like, the only person that doesn't matter is Curry because, you know, he can get a shot wherever. Yeah. But it's, like, if Clay, you know, Clay's not himself, the paint is clogged. It's just super tough for them. No, so. for sure. You just know he's going to pass it. Yeah, literally, literally. <laughs> you know why I think the, the Warriors don't? Because, like, really look at it. Other than other than Draymond, nobody missed time, man. Everybody's been held, pretty much healthy all season. And Chris you Paul are battling for, for a playing spot. Chris yeah. Paul. You just got Chris like, Paul, but, like, you know, we, 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 we didn't expect it. I've seen him having a good game. Yeah, yeah I mean, he had like a 19. Like once in a while, yeah. 19. You get old. It's not like you can't. You can't go off. It just it doesn't happen as often because you know right. you got to pick your spots. Averaging nine and seven, Chris Paul. Uh, he has yeah. a play. Four, four <laughs> rebounds. Yeah, oh, yeah I don't. I don't understand what's going on with because like Chris Paul, it didn't make sense to you know like he's he was supposed to play a role like Draymond. Draymond is literally the point guard. Like, yes, yeah. absolutely. You know, facilitating everything, whatever's going on. So Chris Paul was supposed to do that with the bench, but I just don't understand. You know, like what's going on with them. It's like yeah, I don't know. Because I feel like he's. A type of player who's going to slow it down, yeah, too and slow, okay. they want to keep running. Okay. They needed. They don't have the same pieces anymore. <laughs> yeah. If Pool stayed, yeah, <laughs> and didn't get punched in the face, this all would have been okay. Like yeah. they were ready to transition towards. If the only hell. they just got rid of Wiggins and thought it. <laughs> Yo, saw, you know, that, saw what was about. You know what? You know what's really crazy? <laughs> Draymond is the reason they win, and Draymond is also the reason they lose. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like yeah. he's—that's the enigma. Where like you, like you need him. When he first came back, he came back and they were winning games again this year. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. like, he can really get get it good. going with the. But then he got ejected. The other day. Four minutes, like it's just <laughs> like bro, like, in the middle of a playoff race, like you're just, you're just a reckless, bro. Like he's just—he's averaging nine, seven, and six, which is better than I thought he was. Yeah, but like, again, you he hasn't played every game because he always gets suspended. He's had for like his whole career. career. Yeah, yeah, basically, that's, that's no, what he no, is. five more points. I think more points and like, but like the shots definitely because like it, it opens up for them. It's just if he, he's not hitting shots, it's, yeah, it's tough. All right. Uh, so uh, enough about Draymond. Let's move on to a player who was actually uh, here. Okay. Or former player. Nah, you still hoop. A player. What's up, what's up, Clyde? All, all, all his life. That's all his life. The second. Forever. Speaking of all life, before you transition, he's ex- almost exactly like his career average. Draymond. <laughs> no way. So he has <laughs> instead of eight point nine, eight point exactly. seven. He's That's the same, same difference. Same person. <laughs> you got it. Go on. Okay, thank I'm sorry. You. So, <laughs> I like to ask all the hoopers this question to start off, because what we're gonna do is go through a, a journey from high school to college to obviously coaching. Where did the love of basketball first come from? Love of basketball. It was tough. Like, I grew up playing football. I was a football player. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I grew up in Lynn playing football, first sport. Um, I started playing basketball in my sophomore year of high school. That's when, like, <laughs> really? Really? That's when the growth sport like, hit. Literally, yeah. like, <laughs> I grew and everyone was just like, oh, you're tall. You got to play basketball. So I was like, you know what? We're a good, you know, basketball school. Like, let me give it a try. So... My cousin, Danny, um, he played English, so, like, he used to bring me to the YMCA every day. 
I feel like that kind of made me love the game more. So like, yeah. I was just playing it every day. You know, made me love it. Like, you know, it was just it was, it was the sport we were good at. Sent them hot. So I was like, all right, I'll give it a try. But like, that's pretty much where I started liking basketball. Sophomore, sophomore year, started, started cooking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't you say, who, who, yo, who, you? Come here. Come here. <laughs> yeah, my, my play basketball? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> do now. <laughs> do, do now. Yeah, my first like year, like first year, it was literally just like so I'm like, I was just there to you know get rebounds, blocks, whatever. Like I didn't, I wasn't confident scoring or anything. It was just all defense, just. Rebounds and and, and this is sophomore year. Uh, just so I like to paint the picture for the people watching. Mm. Name uh, some of your teammates so we can know what. Uh, what. So I, my first year I played on JV. So I played with like Jamie Dominguez. Uh, I played with uh, Chris Pimentel. Yeah. Uh, Brian Martinez. Oh, okay. So that was you know a few of the players. So like Good we team. ended up continuing playing together. Except for like, I know Chris stopped playing. Chris Pimentel stopped, but like I played with Jamie. You know, af- afterwards Brian the same thing. So. Yeah, so. <clears throat> it's a solid team. Absolutely, it's a solid team. Yeah. Uh, do you so. remember how you how well? When, well, let's let's jump right into varsity. Mm-hmm. So your first varsity season was when? My junior year. So um, I played with Dunstan. Uh, okay. Uh, so we're gonna get we'll get you on here soon. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that, that was my first. So you know, I was still kind of you know um, improving little by little. Um, I remember like they named me like the most improved player in the North Shore. Oh, here we time. go. Because, like, literally, I was pretty much doing the same thing. Like, I had a role. Um, yeah, play defense. Second so year of, playing. Second ever. year playing. Exactly. <laughs> so, you know, like, I was raw pretty much. Like, I didn't, <laughs> I was learning the game. I was just getting a lot of blocks, like, um, just defense. And, like, I felt like that year, because, like, Dunstan was, like, you know, he had a nice handle. Yeah. Um, he was, like, trusting me. to like, that's when I start, actually started scoring more. Like, he would trust me. Like, he would blow by whoever's covering him. The help would come. He would just kind of hand it off. Yeah. I had, like, blow, Easiest layups all yeah. year. Yeah. 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 Like, so good it. point guard right there. <laughs> you made it so oh, easy. Good look. Right. Like, everything was at the rim. Oh. All right. Perfect. Yeah. So that's how my junior year went. But like, it was just obviously like when you as a hooper, like yeah, like regular season, you know, it's like you're learning the game. But like once playoff comes, like the pressure kind of comes. Like Not so, bad. like I feel like that's. We didn't do so well in the playoffs. We played Brighton. They were really good. Like they ended up oh, winning the whole game. It's always Brighton. Always Brighton, right? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I know what it is. It's because we keep interviewing people from the same team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's just like, it's just, why is always Brighton? Because it's the same squad. It's the oh, same I, team. I also played Brighton, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, before y'all think anything, I beat Brighton my senior year. So. There we go. Uh, oh, the only, that's what you get. finally got you, Brighton. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. We saw them again the very next year, like my senior year. So like we played them again. Everyone thought we were going to lose. I remember, like, because they were obviously champions. They were set to repeat, and they came into Salem. I was like, yeah, no way I'm losing to this. Yeah. Not today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm protecting this hoop. This is my life. You must protect your house. Yeah. Boy, it's my life. Really? I know. I hate it any time like, I win. Uh, just don't don't lose a home playoff game. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, like, it's just like, I get it. Some some years, you're not going to make the deep run. You probably want the teams, obviously, rotate every few years. and are not as talented. Some, some are more talented than the others, but just... If you get a home game at the Witch, man, get that dub. Yeah, the you know playoffs. What I mean? you know what I mean? Shout out to this yeah. year's team. We got that dub at, at, at home. Yeah, yeah. I ended up, even though we beat Brian that year, my senior year, but we I ended up losing the next game. Um, Who's the home. next one? So we oh, played Belma. It was crazy because. Belma. So the thing is, so one of our players, Rashad Keys, I don't know if you guys remember, yeah. he was a transfer from Mississippi. So like he got suspended for that game. So, so crazy. So after the Brighton game, because you know everyone thought we were going to lose, we ended up winning. So there was like it was on the weekend. So it was on Friday game. So during the weekend, they threw like a party, and like you know you're in high school, you're not supposed to be drinking. Yeah. Ended up drinking. So pretty much, we had a lot of you know a lot of players were there. I wasn't there because I was you know I was a good kid. Of course, they were. <laughs> good kid. But uh, <laughs> I would so, never have dreamed of you being there. <laughs> <laughs> really, um, so we had you know a few of our players were there, but like because he was like a big name, like oh Chase was from, from Mississippi, they only singled him out. They suspended him for the game. Like, yeah, that's crazy. Okay. We've heard this kind of story before. before. Yeah. You know, it's always, always hated. It's like, always it's haters, like, yo. And the thing is, so for that year, um, so my previous year, I played uh, my my junior year. Like, I played with like, you know Dunstan, Billy, Marvin. They all mm-hmm. graduated. So literally, yeah. my senior year was like a fresh new. Oh, yeah. okay. So okay. like, Doyle pretty much only trusted Lily. Like, he only played six. So like, it was you know. That was like tall. That was like tall. <laughs> it was like the tallest team we had because like I was 6'5 Rashad was 6'5 Brown was 6'3 6'4 
you know, like, and then the rest of, you know, guards. It was just like a really tall team. So like once he was out, it was just like, what do we do? Like we had to, we had to go small. Like we, weren't, we didn't play that way at all, at all, all year. Season, so it was just like, yeah. it was a weird game. And we played Belmont, which is, we should have beat them like easily. Cause, because we played them the year prior and like, it was the same players. We beat them by like 40. <laughs> so it was the same kids that came. They just had more confidence. Like, yeah. Yeah. And we were, you know, we were a short player, like one of our best players. He was like, Leading us in scoring and stuff like that, mm -hmm. so it's just like it was a tough game. Like, like if he was there, I think we would have went out oh, like pretty fair. because the, the next game would have been Danvers, oh, and yeah. Danvers, we like, they, they, Danvers. The one, well, they won three years in a row, but like we, we beat Danvers. them that year. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's just, 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 just some, some teams that like not you're, you're not losing yeah. to them. Yeah, just not like who? Nah, it's somebody up. That's that's a hard way to lose though, because you know you had the the tools to yeah. succeed, but end up losing one and that's it. Yeah, like <sighs> it's a playoffs. I'd have been like, listen. Get the <clears throat> well, he's also six five, so he stands out in the party. <laughs> yeah, sure. But true. it's just like, come on, like we knew that you know we had at least four or five players there. They just singled him out. Like it's, it was just crazy. Fair, man. See, that's yeah, that's yeah. what the B squad is for. Somebody on the B squad. Someone on the ready, B squad. Be nah, he wasn't there. It was me. <laughs> After the party. I he also to am 6'5". Like, you ain't gonna play. Like <laughs> you ain't gonna play. It was a tough game because I remember too, I was I was in foul trouble. Like, they literally. Oh, cool. Oh, you are attacking the whole time. that game. Like, so oh, man. Much, we were losing off two players. So Was it was it uh, a big deficit or a close oh, game? Oh, yeah. We lost by like 20. <laughs> it, was, it was bad. Damn. It was bad. Blows <laughs> off, everything. Yeah. Then clicking. Yeah. Well, so that's like, one way to end your high school career. Yeah. I mean, not many people win it. Not, there's not many high school players who end their career in a win. I know. You know sure. like, well, like, yeah, definitely. I lost. Yeah, I mean, there's only a couple of champions. So, you know what I mean? So, like, most people, high school career is a loss. You just all you just feel like this is this is the year. This yeah. is the year. And when it gets cut short, like we had the pieces, we could have got it. Yeah, that's the top. Things beyond like, your control. Yeah, just like ours. Like our, the tip off. One of our best players got hurt. Off tip off. Like, all right. Yeah. That's a bad way to start this. <laughs> it's funny. Like, you never forget that shit. No, well, obviously, us as a podcast don't, <laughs> doesn't help. We, like, we, we make you fucking come here and relive it. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, it, it's tough. Well, things got better after that because obviously you moved on um, to uh, play college ball. There we go. Huh? So go. before you ended, and when did you uh, end up playing college ball at? I played at UMass Lowell, so I, was, I went uh, 2016 to, like, 2020. All right, cool. Oh, dope. So before, and again, one of my questions I like to ask. We were working together. <laughs> huh? I used to work with him yeah, back yeah. in the day. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I took some time off after high school. Yeah. So, like, yeah, I work, oh, we worked together. With the, <laughs> where? <laughs> Home Depot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, all right. You want to go to college? <laughs> Word. Hell yeah. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I didn't know that. Keep cool. Good times. Good times. <laughs> keep, it, keep, it keep it alive. Keep it alive. Keep it alive, bro. <laughs> Don't worry. I got this. I got the late shift. If you got to be late, I practice the way I got it. I'll cover for you. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> All right. Oh, sorry. No, it was good times. <laughs> What was that? Oh, college. 2016. I was like, Home Depot. How the fuck are we talking about Home Depot for? <laughs> the gap between high school yeah, and college. Yeah. yeah. So. so, yeah, let's talk about that gap. You decided to take some time off. And what other schools? Because obviously, I'm sure 6'5", blocking everybody. People are obviously sending you some letters and, so, and some emails. <laughs> yeah, Texts. so um, actually, I had so many schools I wanted to. Um, like, I had like offers from like UMass Boston, Daniel Webster. That, that school is like closed down now, though. No, um, no. it doesn't exist anymore. In like New Hampshire. <laughs> uh, I had. Um, I My boy, I had, uh, Chris Hansen went there. Oh, for real? And Rufus. Yeah. Oh, the records are locked. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I think no, beating those records. No one's beating these I think, think Hanson had like 4,000 yeah. points. Yeah. <laughs> it's a small school. I'm sorry, go on. Yep. Um, uh, I had, uh, I think, um, Plymouth State. So, like, I had those options, and, like, I just, I went to a school that didn't give me an offer. Like, I went to UMass Lowell. And, like, I mostly went there for, like, their education, you know, my mom was in my ear, like, you know, right. go get your Pretty education, well, yeah. get a good, you know. So I went there, I was like, you know, I'll try out for the the the, the D one. So like, I had to try out for the for the team. But um, just like you know, doing my major and just like you know, playing D one, it would just would have been too much. So we had lucky for us, we had like um, club basketball, like 
I didn't even know about it until I got there. So like my, my plan was to, you know, oh, try to be a walk on. But when I saw the club team, I was like, oh, let me give that a try because like there were like dogs on, on <laughs> it was crazy. I didn't even know about it. Like and every like pretty much every school pretty much has a like a club yeah. team. And like um so you might slow like I think they started their team in like 2014, so like it was pretty new. But like they has set a culture where like so the year prior 2015 they went to nationals for the first time. There we go. That's a club team. Yeah. yeah. So they're, oh they're, shit. So it's, it's really competitive. I don't know how it is now. After BC's COVID, number two in the country the club right now. Teams. Yeah. yeah. BC. So like <laughs> it was, I was like, crazy. I never knew I could have. Yeah. <laughs> I never went that route. My dream's <laughs> not over. <laughs> By the <Yeah>. red shirt, <laughs> ten year, ten year red shirt, ten year red shirt. <laughs> you, still got, you still got your four years. <laughs> about four years yeah. eligibility. Yeah. You can do it. <laughs> so you know they had a culture. Pretty much like they took it seriously. You know, practice five days a week. You know, obviously like they'll be when the season starts. Obviously like probably like two or three games a week, but like practice every day. Like so it was already you know. It was a you know a great culture to kind of step into. So like my first year, I played in it. Um, so 2016, I actually ended up breaking my leg. Oh no. Jesus yeah, Christ! Mid season. <laughs> oh no. Mid season. We, we were playing a team from Florida. Um, they came all the way down, um, and like they had they had um, a kid. He was like, I swear he was like seven. He was like six eleven or seven. Feet. <laughs> he was like the tallest kid I've ever. You know, because usually like you know. If you're six ten and above, you're really on like the D one squad. Like, yeah, yeah. You, you made the team. So pretty much like <laughs> he was good. He was just like so. The thing about club where it's super competitive, it's like a lot of kids who like playing it. It's like one, they don't want to, you know, because like usually like when you're playing D one, like especially like UMass Lowell, like you can't take certain majors. Like so, I went to like engineering like, at first, but like I couldn't do both because like it's too, it's too hectic. You know, like they won't even let you take those classes because like. Labs and, yeah. and like oh, okay. the practices will be you know it interferes during. with the yeah exactly yeah. so so a lot of those kids you know they can't do both like they can't do a major so they just stick with club because it's like more convenient you know yeah. you can do both and like some of them it's like we play some teams where like that kids who failed off the team and they'll play club and like you can see they have D one talent yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. so literally all the teams will make it to national like the team were pretty much like D one players yeah <laughs> <laughs> but um. Or was that? Oh. Like the final cut of the team. And you say, yeah, well, we're going know, Like, they never sold that to me ever. <laughs> <laughs> that the club team practices five days a week. Yeah, nah, <laughs> like, it, it was serious. Like, you can tell the teams who, you know, really? practice and who don't. Like, so yeah. every team. Oh, yeah. yeah, so. Pretty much, like, the team we played with from Florida, that this kid. I, can, he, I think he was, like, he fell off the team. He was, like, 6'10". So, he, he was playing on the club team. So the game just started. I was like, "Oh, I got dunk on this kid!" Like, yeah, I yeah, I like, yeah, I like that. I gotta do it. Set the tone. Literally, I was like, I, sure. "I haven't seen someone this tall." I'm dunking on it. Yeah. So the game just started. Literally, like five minutes, like two. I don't know how long. Early into the game, first time touching the ball, right through, try to go dunk it. So apparently, there's a clip for it. I still haven't seen it till this day. They just never showed it to me. That's good. So apparently, I, I, I just want to see it good. awkwardly. Uh, leg just snapped. Uh, <laughs> Like a Paul George kind of. Yep, yep, same thing. Oh. Same Did you dunk it on him? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no man, I'm just gonna be occupied <laughs> with my folks. Like, I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to look at it. I might have got him though. No, like, lucky I had I had um, compression pants on, so like you couldn't really see it. But like, oh my, my leg was my still, hurt. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Man. So the ball went out of bounds. I didn't even know it was broken because like, so the reason why I didn't know what happened is because I think when it snapped, like. I blacked out for like two seconds because I just remember like being on the ground like oh what happened so the kid I, I tried to dunk on like tried to help me up no one knew it was broken tried to help me up I tried to get up and I just collapsed like, damn and then the whole gym just got super sound like oh, like you can just hear yeah. like, they knew what happened We're like, what? What, I was what's like, wrong what's going on what's, I just felt someone hold me down like yo don't look don't look I'm like what happened I was like you broke your leg don't look at it you know what I mean you're trying to be because I, I couldn't feel it yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like I gotta look at it I looked at it and my leg was you know oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta look. <laughs> you gotta look. I, I, I look, 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 like, because I couldn't feel it. Like, I was in so much shock. Like, I, oh, I it goes, wow. when bones break, it gets numb. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh. I was on the ground oh. game for the ambulance. I think probably like, I don't know how long I was on the ground for, but like, after a few minutes, then I started feeling it. I was like, oh. Crazy. Uh, yeah, so, the so once, once the adrenaline starts wear yeah, off, like your, your eyes have seen it, your, your mind is like aware of what's happening. <laughs> like, bro, you broke it. Yeah, bro, this is broken. This shit hurt. <laughs> You're going to be in the cast for weeks. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, I ended up missing the rest of the season. Uh, our team was still pretty good. We had a lot of like seniors 
we ended up going to nationals. But the thing about us, we, we made it to nationals the year before in the same in my first year, but we would never make any noise in the, you know at nationals because like we'll play like you know North South Carolina and they'll beat us by like thirty. Like we uh, weren't ready, for, you know, yeah. we weren't ready for that. They can play. They're good. They're good. So they're literally, good. my sophomore year, that, you know, it was, it was more like I had to come back, trying to you know recovering from the injury, like. It was more a mental thing because I, I had yeah. a clean break. I have a rod in my leg till this day, but like it was all mental. Like I was scared to go left. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, you know, like I, I just wanted because I broke my left leg. People I was don't. To go. Are, you, are you ready? I'm already. Oh, like, I broke my left wow. leg. So like, oh, that's, that's, that was my jumping leg. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's that's, that's, that's <laughs> <laughs> picture that. That's so I literally had to teach myself how to jump off too. I used to think like, you know, back in the day I used to think like, oh, there's people who are one foot jumpers, two feet jumpers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I obviously know like you can do both. Like yeah, you literally like, can be both. <laughs> you can. You can. So you can I'm, like, I'm a one foot jumper. I always said that. Just always like, stuck yeah. on you what you're like you're comfortable yeah. with. Like so, like I literally had to teach myself jump off too. So like today, like well, I don't play as much, but like I jump more off too. Like nowadays, yeah. you know, but like it's safer. It is safer. It is safer, but it, lo it looks nicer too. Yo, that's <laughs> cool. yeah, you dunk somebody off two feet, like mm. yeah. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> so like yeah, that my sophomore year was more like you know trying to get back. Um, so we didn't do so well. We didn't make it to nationals that year. But my junior year, that's when, like, you know, I was fully healthy. We had a good squad. And, like, we, had, we were nasty that year. So we were, we literally went undefeated. We almost went undefeated. We lost one game. The game that we lost wasn't even off of, um, off of um, like, playing. It was literally the refs oh. had a different schedule. So the athletic director <laughs> kind of gave them the wrong date, then a different day. So they didn't come. <laughs> so, like, by rule, if there's no refs, you can't play. So, like, that was our only forfeit. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> forfeit the that was game. Our only loss. Only loss. No, it's you asterisk. You were undefeated. Asterisk. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just reschedule the game. Yeah. <laughs> what day were they supposed to play? I gotta Next take day? that out. Like, dude, we'll, we'll play tomorrow <laughs> if they're coming tomorrow. I, <laughs> I can get some refs, bro. Like, that's, that's like that's like uh, UFC when you hit them with like a like a legal a legal. Uh, oh yeah, I got you. Good it's just like man, I won this fight. <laughs> <laughs> like John Jones, he's yeah. undefeated. But he has an asterisk because he did lose because he got disqualified. Yeah. He murdered the guy the entire fight. <laughs> yeah. That one little, oh, no, that's illegal. Get him out. Yeah. Well, yeah. So I, ended up, I remember we played. It was U SNHU. They came all the way down. So it was just like, yeah, we got to take the L. So pretty much went undefeated. We went to Nationals. So real quick, Nationals. Mm -hmm. Is that like the March Madness it's situation? It's like NC, pretty much like March yeah. Madness. So how many, how many teams are in it? So eight teams out of the whole country makes it. Eight teams? Eight teams. So like literally, so like. So there's a regular season, right? Um, so once the regular season happens, it's like a tournament. Mm -hmm. So like each each region. So there's like North in New, uh, New England region, like and Northeast, be, you know, yeah. So yeah. eight different regions. So like we pretty much compete with like Vermont, um, um, Bates in Maine, um, whoever pretty much makes the, the top teams in, in their yeah. conferences. Yeah. So whoever wins that goes to nationals. So we oh, ended up winning, <clears throat> went to nationals. Um, so we played. We played East Carolina. They had a lot of kids who like felt, you know, like I said, filled off yeah. D1 players. East, so we, East, East Carolina? Carolina yep. Good players. East Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was, it North, was, it was South, South East. Is this is <laughs> you, you, you fucked him up. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute. You I broke. heard that North. <laughs> in the I South. Heard South. I ain't never hear of no East well, Carolina. So it's, it's Where East is school? To? School. East Carolina. No, right, right. No, I, school. No, I got it. Uh, where, which Carolina is East Carolina in? The North? Or is I, I the think, uh, you keep going. I got you. I got you. I got you. Messing us up. Wait a minute. I wonder which Carolina this place is. So yeah. I did see that recently, the, the BC situation, how they, they are number two in the country. Mm -hmm. South Carolina was number one. And they beat them by like 30. Yes. And these kids are just... <laughs> so, <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Right. Continue, so, sir. North Carolina. Is it North Carolina? Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's in Greenville. <laughs> so Greenville. We played them, play them in the first kind of... Uh, it was like a weird matchup. Played them in the first. Um, we ended up losing that game. So we lost... So it was one and done. So we lost that game yeah. first, you know, first round. They ended up winning the whole thing. So pretty much, like, they beat every team there pretty easy. Not easily, but, like, you know, by, like, 10, you know. Yeah. Pretty, for us, they beat us by two. Oh. Like, came down to the wire, lost by two. Yeah. So, like, we kind of knew, like, damn, we were, we were right there. Yeah. You know, we, you know, we're top, you know, we're right there with the best teams. Literally, it's literally teams from all over the country, you know, the top teams. Well, like, in the previous years, we used to get clapped by, like, 30. Yeah. That was our first year. We were actually really good. Played the team who won it all. We lost by two, so we kind of knew the next year. Like, all right, we'll be good. Let's just time. Yeah. Get, we got you know, this. Let's go through the regular season. Let's, um, you know, let's go out there and win. So, 
senior year, my 2020, um, we were, that's the year we really went undefeated. Oh, we really man. didn't lose any. We really smacked every team. Every <laughs> team. <laughs> it didn't matter who it was, they'll be ranked. Literally, like, we'll play, like, I think we played, we played BC. They were ranked above us to start off this, the year. We beat them by like 20. Um, Harvard was the same thing. They were ranked go. over us. We beat them by 20. Just things like that. So they pretty much like ranked us. We were first pretty much throughout the whole year. Um, so the tournament came around. We won that. So it's time for nationals. Ended up getting canceled because of COVID. Oh, oh, damn. Damn. Oh. You said I'm like, oh no. Time for the tournament. The big got us yeah. again. Really. So I, we we would have won. I felt like we were good enough to win that year. So we didn't even have a tournament. Then because we we're first for you know all year, pretty much all year long, they gave us a national championship. Oh, okay. So, like, so you, still, you still won, but, but you didn't earn it. I didn't, yeah. Yeah. I don't even like telling people like I'm Another a national like, <laughs> yeah, like, champion. Oh. Yeah. I, mean, I got my ring, got the banner, but you know we didn't compete for it. Nah, I, I would just show oh. the banner, show the ring. <laughs> you earned it. Yeah, I was like, hey, yeah, she was hot anyways. You know, you know, I'll tell that story. Oh, what's up? Oh, oh, yeah, we should look at the record book. It just says we came out all season, right? Right, all season. We didn't, we didn't lose one time the whole season. No, no lies. Oh, uh, that's, a, that's a hit. I, yeah, it, it was it was a bummer. Like, cause I was really looking. Cause literally, I I felt like all year long I was just like I was just ready for the playoffs. So I was like, yeah, I can't yeah, wait yeah. For, for you know nationals. I can't wait for it. So it was just like <laughs> I didn't. Even, I remember like we had a, we had a big team where like there were games where like I could have played more. I was just like nah. You get the younger kids could have it. Like you know <laughs> you, guys, you guys get in, do your thing. Get you know you can get better. I was just like I'll, I'll wait till the playoffs. You know, all year goes by and you know, I'm oh, getting ready. Oh man, COVID happens. Oh man. <laughs> I we a lot. I wonder what was that like March Madness like that year? I don't, know. Do, I think they they I don't remember they, it. Did they, they cancel? I think they got canceled. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it was literally. I think the bro, literally like it bro, it bro, <laughs> like COVID broke out. I think in like February, March. It was March, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that, was, was, that was when it first it was shut like down. First week of March. All right. Yeah, crazy. Man. So after your college career, came back to your alma mater. You know, I was I was pretty surprised to hear that you were hired. First of all, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Being hired as the a girls' uh, head coach mm-hmm. for Salem High. How did that come about? Yeah, so um, so I started off last year was my first year, actually. As, so I was hired as the JV coach. So the you know the head coach was looking for staff, hired me as the JV coach. Um, so pretty much I got the job this year because so the, the head coach, he ended up getting a gig at uh, Leslie University. Oh, so was like, congratulations. You know, to yeah. high school or college. Went to college, so. Position was open, so I was like, you know what? I already know, you know, what to expect here. Like, I kind of went for it, you know, applied for it, ended up getting it. So oh, you keep yeah. the same system, or or did uh, you, no, 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 you no, change no, it up? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, like, it's, well, yeah, it's tough. It's this tough. Is, my style. This is my style. Yeah, we both show up. We show up to the gym like Coach Connor. <laughs> <laughs> so we gonna switch this up a little bit. Everybody gonna run. Y'all want to test me? <laughs> it's my name right up there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so nah. this is, it's an interesting question because um, the, obviously the hype of women's basketball, I think, is <laughs> at its most year. popular. That I've ever remembered. Yeah, you played obviously men's basketball. What what are, to the common fan who's watching this? What are the like you think the biggest differences from the men's game to the women's um, game? I'd say the the women are definitely more like fundamentals. Yeah. Way more, you know, the, way more like they're fundamentally skilled. Shoot. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you know, the, the, all the little things like for, for the men, it's like everything just comes. I guess natural. They kind of skip, you know, the little. You know, no, yeah, I guess. Yeah, 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 literally, like, even like when every team presses, like, when every team we play, the press, yeah. and it's like, for the men, it's just like, I don't know, it's like, it comes different for them. For the girls, it's like, they're really fundamental. We're like, oh, like, to trap, let's have our leg. You know, in between yeah. each other's like, you know, from the yeah, 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 space, connect. Like, really, all the like, little oh, real trap. You do it perfectly. It's like <laughs> no, it's good, I, I get exactly what you mean. Like, <laughs> the guy's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, never, never. You gotta break this shit and pass it in the middle, anyways. Like, <laughs> and all the other like un- unnecessary stuff, like you. 
the, the extra the flair <laughs> yeah, basically the, the yeah. extra stuff that you don't need in the game yep. which I hate when I have a teammate that's like that <laughs> it's going to triple nine times swing the ball let's get the ball moving <laughs> move <laughs> set, set, set the screen come on <laughs> yeah. the behind the back uh, pass is like bro, oh. right here right? <laughs> yeah. just chest Dude, pass so now that you're a coach mm-hmm. and you, you've seen the transition from when you were playing to the I call it the Steph Curry era Caitlin Clark mm-hmm. era do you like that style of basketball, or you would rather have it like the it was before? Um, more three point centric, more fast break, more points, or would you like the lockdown, uh, mid range to the basket? Uh, I like. Well, I see how the game's going, but I feel like you have to adjust to it. But like, I do like the old, you know, the yeah. down to the basket, mid range. You know, like yeah. just have play all the way. I feel like kids nowadays is just. Want it. That's all they want to do is just shoot. Like, yeah. like kids don't even like. It's, so for us, um, we're pretty much like rebuilding. We have a, like, the thing about us. It's like we have a lot of girls who like they have the interest, but like they haven't played much. So yeah. like they lack the skills of like dribbling. They, they can all shoot. You know, nowadays yeah. Every, yeah, everybody, everybody, everybody shoots. Everybody, shoots. <laughs> yeah. everybody but, shoots. You know, they can't. They struggle with you know dribbling, making passes, like little things like that. So it's like I feel like. Curry, you know, kind of ruined it. I'm not saying you ruined it, but like took the, you know, the, simple, the stuff that you needed, like the you know, yeah. dribbling, kind of took it away from from the kids. Kids now they just want to shoot. Yeah. Want to go you to know, the gym? You know what? Shoot. You know what Curry did? Make it right to the he three made it one. for people to think that like that's just easy. Yeah, yeah. he made you know it look so I mean? easy. He made it because yeah. before, like, who was a great? Oh, look at LeBron James, a gigantic human being, six eight. For, Oh, that's a professional. I'm like, yo, Steph Curry. Like, I, I see motherfuckers like that at the YMCA. But like, I was a shooter. Cooking. <laughs> I was Cooking. a shooter, but I ain't shooting no NBA three. <laughs> like a deep three just because I can. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I know I can make it. Game, bro. But you come on. Like, like, I'm going to take a smarter shot than that. You know? Yeah. Like, the, the like we watch the P2P basketball, and trust me, <laughs> it is literally raining threes and threes and Euro steps. It's all we ever see. Three Euro steps. Yeah. That's all, you know, I'm <laughs> telling you, it's, it's just like, it's like, yeah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sounding old. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> did you, Back in did my you watch, day, um, did you watch LSU versus uh, Iowa? Yep, yep. So that right, that game <laughs> showed me the two styles. Uh-huh. Iowa, Caitlin Clark, I was shooting from a logo where LSU was kind of going from the more inside game, yep. and I feel like that was just the two different basketball heads like the young ones and the old heads like yeah yeah put it in the lane yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but the fact that I, LSU lost was because, because they, they didn't want to go up on, on screens they I got think, brought back yeah I don't know why they kept going under Caitlin Clark yeah like, why, why are you going like, under for yeah, like, the girl, that, that like, the, you have like, it you have just you know <laughs> she shoots it. yeah of, but also real quick also I believe that like Angel Reese does, doesn't get hurt. They probably, you know what I mean? They were, she was going off in the first half. Oh, yeah. It would have been a closer give game. The they might have not yeah, won, but like, ball. yeah, she's like, give me the ball. Rattle off 14 points straight. Like, yeah, give her the ball. But Especially it's like if you score, if you, someone's clearly Clark is a shooter. Yeah. She makes two. She looks like Steph, man. Like maybe she you plays can, like Steph, man. You like, can go under the screen before she makes the, the two. But the like, if she makes two, it's like, all right. The oh, reason they it. went under was because in she the first quarter, threes. she only drove, drove in. And she kept driving in easily, up, driving in, pass out. So, like, okay, don't let her drive in. I'm like, no, 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 no. She's yeah. playing you. Yeah. <laughs> she wants that's to shoot. I, she wants to shoot. I do, <laughs> yeah, I do it all the time. We'll go to the basket. Oh. Let's go like, to the basket. I don't, you guys listen, start I don't remember any, any, before when women basketball or anybody's taking 18 threes. Like, she took 18 threes and I came. 41, I think, right? Ended with it? Yeah. That's it's crazy. Like, there, there was just no answer for her. That I no, there really like, isn't. Oh, because like a lot of people, like you said, you know, you see Curry, you know, you you can look like Curry, and, and anyone can look like Curry, but like a lot of people try to be, you know, play like him. I feel like she's like the first person to actually be, you know, who was like, on the women's side at least, yeah, yeah. Who was able to, you know, play like Curry, like pop like crazy. that. Yeah. It is kind of crazy. <laughs> you know, from anywhere, like the what do you have? Do they? Have? Some kind of commercial where they gave the ball to somebody, like, oh, shoot from there. Because that's where her, her logo is, like, what, how she got the record. Her, her logo on the court. So, like, oh, you shoot from here? You look around, like, what's ha- what? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's airballing, like, yo, this is deep. Because she got it from, like, almost half court for her, 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 her that's wild. whatever that's point it was, 4,000th point. 
Yeah. I get benched right away if I try to do some shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're supposed to get benched to take another shot. Even if, you, even if shots. I made it. <laughs> Dude, like, yeah. You out your rabbit ass my, mind? Oh, they can shoot those shots. You my, <laughs> my, fresh, my freshman year in Salem High, we had a player on our team. Who, he didn't stay on the team the whole time, but he got in. We were up by a crazy amount, and the first shot he takes was half court. <laughs> no way. Bro, you, 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 <laughs> you don't you're remember literally that? never playing nah, again. Nah, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll say it after. But yeah, yeah literally, yeah. first shot, like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sit down. So, you see, me as a coach in today's game, do I get mad at that? Do I take them out? Because, like, yeah, that's right. how everyone plays now. It's like, that's yeah, the norm. But do you get mad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Step in 10 feet. <laughs> see, I, I'm still, I still have that mindset. I want I want our girls, you know, to drive in more. Like, yeah. they love to shoot the threes. So I want, like, I, I'm big you on better like hit them if you're going to take them, man. Like, <laughs> higher percentage shots. <laughs> drive in, get that and one, get that free throw. A good Come mid-range on. shot. <laughs> <laughs> Pump. One dribble in. Real, yeah. real quick on uh, Kaylin Clark. She the GOAT? Of the girls game? College basketball? College? I think so. College, yeah. What do you think? I think so. Wow. I think she's amazing. <laughs> I think she's amazing. Here, I, it just sounds like she's about to break up with somebody. I, I, I think you're real cool. I think she's amazing. I think you're great, but... I don't have that record mean as much as to everybody else. Because to me, Pistol Pete averaged 45 points. He only played three seasons. That's the only reason why she caught up to him, averaging like hey. 29. I get it. It's not she's her fault. Amazing. She breaks whatever she's the record the is, man. She's the best female player I've ever seen. Yeah. And I see, I love Maya Moore, who's amazing. Yeah. Maya Moore is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's yeah. not dropping like Caitlin Clark is right now. You know how many rings she got? Exactly. Yeah, that's the thing. How well, do you call somebody Stewie. a GOAT and you don't have a title? Well, Stewie has four. If you kind of look crazy. at it, though, if you kind of look at it, it's really just – because. It's probably just her on the team. Because if you look yeah. at, I, I don't know yeah. anybody yeah. else. That's it. So she wins a title. That's crazy. Yeah. Like she won it. <laughs> yeah, well, we've seen people. You've seen Carmelo bring a Syracuse team. That I don't remember anybody else in that Akeem squad. Keem single handedly. Yeah. Yeah. Keem Ward, my guy. Keem Ward, like, you're right. He's my guy. He's yeah. great. <laughs> I feel like the LSU game was definitely like our biggest game, you know, ever because because like they were good last year. They lost a lot of players. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so this was pretty much kind of a, a new team. And like they went, they went against the LSU team who pretty much brought back everyone. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And they beat who knocked them. them out last year. Exactly. So the redemption. Like, they beat them. It was. It looked a little easy for her out there. Like she, there was just no answer for her. Yeah, I don't know what defensively they were thinking. Um, just going under screens and Van stuff Lith like that. Is way but, too small for uh, to guard him. Besides, besides, put, no, besides the Jordan, was, she put a hand. Shirt. Like she's like, what, 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 what do you want me to do? Do, do? The reverse Jordan. The other <laughs> scheme was the, the adjustment from the first half. Yeah. So like they tried something different, but it just. She yeah, just started just, letting them just, up. Just, so just too good. All right, go back to, you know, the internet. up. Go on. So but, they just had to pick the poison. Like, like we, we, I think where the messed up was just like, I think the second half, it was why they went under was just like, all right, let's let her take those shots. Let's limit everyone else. But they didn't limit everyone because she was still, you know, <laughs> doing head. She had a playmaker. Hedge. A lot of this. So it was just like, no stopping. Hedge off those screens. Yeah. Force her to step yeah, back she, a little bit. For me to even consider, and first of all, I barely know you, girl, for me calling you a goat. That's wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I met you like a year and a half ago. How the hell am I going to call no, you right. a goat? I can't, I can't say <laughs> that's she's a, a that's goat. That's a crazy word to say to somebody who's like 19, 20 years old. I'm too ignorant. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no, more so like I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah. you're good for definition. For, okay. Me, okay. for me to like give her that, like <laughs> I don't know. Without, it wouldn't be fair because I don't know anybody uh, else's. Like, I knew she was good, but I didn't know she was like. I found out like last month, I was like, she's about to pee. Beat Pete Maravich? Like, God, that's, <laughs> wild. that's wild. That's, that's not crazy, right? I didn't know she had that many points. That's crazy. I feel like you don't even have to know too much. The fact that, like, men are, like, actually watching the games yeah. over, you know? Like, yeah. true. No one saw um, uh, Booker's, what was it, 50-pointer? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nobody saw it. Nobody saw that game. Nobody yeah. watching the women's basketball. Who, who scored 50? Devin Booker. Devin Booker. I didn't even know yeah. that. I didn't even know who scored 50. <laughs> he actually scored three times 50 points this year on the, the – uh, Pelicans Pelicans yeah, Pelicans yeah, yeah. That's mad That's cool yeah, No one cares so Anytime <laughs> <laughs> <Hey, laughs> hey, we play this team We go up a drop 50 Yeah, yeah she, uh, If she wins it I guess we can start talking But like I, yeah. Yo We got, we no. got Brianna Stewart has four. four titles Like you know what I mean Like what <laughs> the hell She was on great years. teams Like she had True. great teammates True. But the teammates Were ro rotating They were gone Like every year It was a different team She's like I'm still winning <laughs> Yeah, like, that's that's tough to be college go like you only get four years to become a goat. That's like that's the right. perfect amount. She got the you know the record. That's the Jeez. record. Yeah, she has to win. She, she won a title. Has, if she wins, she can 
Write your own ticket. Like that's yeah, it. You yeah. got that. Yeah. Like I don't care how much you're trying to offer WBA, you better stack up. Because you so, mean offer you so got to pay. Apparently, they make more money in college than they will. in the WNBA. Yeah. Yeah. So college like, and overseas. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm like, should she even go that route? Because I know um, Ice Cube offered her what five, five million. Yeah, that's crazy. So, so, which is like that's quadruple. Year, yeah. 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 So I saw, year. I saw Jay Williams. <laughs> no. They asked Jay Williams what you think, and he, I think, said a beautiful plan. I was like, oh, do you know? I was like, it was so good. I was like, motherfucker, you should have did this shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> he said, all right, so they Ice Cube offered her five million, which means I'm worth way more if you're gonna offer me five. So bump that to like seven point five. And give me a percentage of 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 the big three, you know, the big three of uh, revenue of that year that I play. Oh, stretch it out to like a three year deal. You walk out around maybe right now. You dude. might walk out sixty, seventy million dollars, and then go to the BNB like, all right, <laughs> y'all don't want me to play for you? What's up? Especially not <laughs> like, like, yeah. like not even like comparing it to like, but now that you have like the leverage, where you could like you're getting a lot of viewers. Mm -hmm. this you're is you're a bringing good time all to the bring in like it. a good deal. And try to finesse something like I don't know. Yeah, it's like she can get a lot of money. I think but. I think she should just take it. Like literally, I feel like this is like kind of like the Mbappe deal, like the one he took down. Like oh yeah, yeah. it was just for one year. Like yeah. just true. You know, <laughs> Mbappe got paid so much. <laughs> <laughs> you a billionaire yeah. for one, one year. Good right? deal. I'll do that. He said no to it. So I feel like she could just take that one year, take that five mil. Because I know like WNBA, they don't have. The revenue is for it, yeah. yeah. But they will if she, you know, she's in the league. So take it from one year. Still early league. But you so signed you know. that WNBA contract. You need to make sure that's on a, on point. Yeah, like, but man. you know, they don't this make is gonna as much. you make you you, you make, make your money overseas. Yeah. I no, know, but uh, you can't like. But you know, your presence is gonna help grow the sport in general. Oh, absolutely. So you got to use that as leverage when making your contract yeah, in some way. It's, a, it's all to her agent. Yeah, yeah. The agent better know what he's doing. Let's be real. This is about to change the whole game right now. Yeah, but like. Remember WNBA, like, they can't pay you what they don't have. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, like, they, can, yeah. they can pay you what they're about. Like, to get, you know what I mean? Like, like, mostly they don't even take private but they, flights, but they can like, pay they, you what they buy to get. Yeah, mm -hmm. like Deion, do, Deion Sanders. They can do what they did with like Messi. Like you know how like yeah. they gave him like a long what was it like the was Apple was it Apple Apple deal? I don't remember. So, <laughs> yeah. like so they gave him like a long. You know they didn't they didn't have because they offered him more to you know to play in Europe, but like yeah. we just had like a longer. I think it was with Apple. In, in Abu Dhabi. Like stocks. It was, like, I think it was like stocks. Oh, okay. yeah. So like, they didn't have the money yet, but like, he's gonna him playing here will grow the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. So that's, that's a smart like move. They, for can him. Do, they can do the same thing with her. Like it's the same thing that Beckham did. They could offer her a thing. You know, yeah, they don't have the money yet, but Beckham did it for Messi. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. All right, we have reached my favorite part of the show. The DJ Boof Corsetta question. <laughs> This is the game we play at the end of every uh, uh, podcast episode. Simple question, David. We ask you two different choices. You pick A or B. It's like a red pill or a blue pill. Okay. It sounds very easy. People mess up every single week. So. <laughs> it's not every. You keep saying it's not every it, single week. It's, it's been a while since someone week. messed up. Oh, no, no pressure, though. No pressure. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, my bad. I think no. Nick messed up last week, too. We just let it go. Yeah, right. no, I think Manny was the last one. Manny messes up every time oh, he like comes up here. Are you going to be a correspondent? You're literally on here every other show, and you're the one messing up all the time. He makes his own. All right, so yeah. what about this? <laughs> no, no, no. What like, about no. <laughs> Two choices, one or the other one. All right, uh, first question is always the same. Jordan or LeBron? LeBron. Oh, man. I knew wow. I, I don't have to give my reasons, right? You, you, don't, have, you, don't, have you don't have to, but you can if you want to, but I got you. No, we'll I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I saw that on the LeBron side. I knew it. <laughs> you know honestly, I honestly knew it. I, like, yeah. you young no, 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 whippersnappers. No, no, no. Because no. I feel like a lot of people are just like, oh, the, the youngins, like, they didn't see Jordan play. At all. You know? But like, <laughs> you know how I can tell who's going to sit is by, if I, like, assume in their style of play. Like who they probably relate to the most is who I think they go to. Nah, I go right to age, like you know what I'm saying, like, like someone like uh like you, <laughs> like, uh, someone like this guy yeah, right here, someone like, that's very influenced by LeBron's game or like to oppose to like a Kobe-esque 
Jordan type of like right. footwork. You gotta go through the whole that's type fine. of. I know you're that's that's yeah, yeah. If you're under the age of thirty, I, I can't really say much. But like, <laughs> if you're over thirty, and you say LeBron. Like our man right over here. Thirty two. It comes down to LeBron. I'm thirty two. Yeah. It comes down to style of play. I think. I guess. I've watched twenty one years. Preference of style of basketball. Yeah. Uh, I feel like in every sport. I'm, like everyone knows that, like you know, the newer generation, it gets better throughout gener. I feel like basketball is the only sport where it's just like, nah, nineties was better because Jordan, like Jordan, <laughs> it's like a whole Jordan, different rule set. No, game. you know what it is? It's like no, Jordan could if Jordan was in this era, yeah. <laughs> he'd yeah, average I mean, fifty five. Yeah, he would have, he would have been nice because like all the you know the, the resources he got, but he's black didn't Jesus. Have that. Yeah. Le, you know, LeBron it's had black it. Jesus. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I feel like the thing what Jordan did, he definitely made. Players want to get better, like like be great, like because yeah. people just play like oh I want to make it to the NBA to be you know to make money, but like now they actually want to the NBA to like I want to be, be the best, yeah. you, you know like he brought that yeah competitiveness and now they're back to I want to make money, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right like, yeah go back <laughs> to me wanting to be the best. Oh, I, I, I can't even blame him. He sells three hundred million a twenty one year old kid. Yeah. yeah, I don't care with the stupid yeah. little trophy. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 Right. NIL deal too. Now it's like, all right, you making more money in college than you are in the NBA. It's mm-hmm. always, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's getting scary because like, like, look how many people getting caught. This dude just got caught doing parlays in in this team. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, the gambling, oh. the gambling part. P- Not brother? every every sporting event oh, sponsored by. Yeah, uh, Michael Porter Jr.'s brother. I didn't see if. They actually give him. Do they? <laughs> no, I think they're still. They're, they're still doing it. Still doing it. It's yeah. like, yo, you've been as a college student. There was never that restriction, right? Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, so betting, bet on. No, you could never bet no, on no, sports. You gonna, yeah, yeah, that's not allowed. Yeah. If you're in college basketball, who? Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't. Camp, you shouldn't gamble camp. at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's you shouldn't. It just happened to be popular now. Yeah, you shouldn't do that at all. But I'm, you can't gamble on the, especially the sport you, you're playing. You most definitely shouldn't get caught. That's definitely, definitely. You, if you do, <laughs> like, this dude's made like five million. You know million somebody million. That are, <laughs> on parlays. If you, if, yeah, if yeah. you know somebody on a bodega, I know. I would be that one person to fuck you. Oh, it's just like I mean, like. Obviously, players do it. Real ruined it. He was going to make the NBA look at him. (laughs) That's crazy. Decided to gamble on the Nuggets. (laughs) (laughs) That'd be wild. I wonder, wonder, can they bet on other sports? Is it just. They should be able to bet on other sports. No, they can't. They can't at all? I think there was uh, was somebody that got in trouble. Everybody was getting in trouble or betting on their own sport. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I see too. Yeah. Football players. I don't know. That's a good question. I wonder if they. Yeah. Calvin Ridley, Honestly, football. if I was an owner, Otani <laughs> was baseball. Added, yeah, added the, uh, <laughs> added if like I was an owner of a team, I wouldn't want you gambling at all. Because I, I feel like it makes sense because, like, you know the game, you're in the league, so you know, you know, the little things that mm-hmm. a regular person wouldn't know. Yeah, you shouldn't be allowed. Like, I especially you're making you fifty on million a year. Stop <laughs> being greedy. What are you gambling for? No, but like, let us win some parlays. Yeah, yeah, so like, what's <laughs> now that like gambling's getting huge, like in Massachusetts, we're seeing everywhere. it like around us everywhere. I'm starting to really see like how it's affecting the game. It is as well. Like people get tired of you. People yelling, like, "I need two threes! Yeah, yeah. I need two threes! You bomb! You cost me two. Back in mind, you're like, "Yeah, I got it. I want them to man. Yeah, <laughs> let me make at least one, one three. That's now what Tatum said recently. Yeah, too. yeah, no, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you're you're taking yeah. extra shots that you shouldn't <laughs> because <laughs> someone says something crazy to you. And the, someone else is like, "No, I need your under. Come on, doing? I need the under. Stop scoring. <laughs> you're thinking like." Should I slow the ball down? <laughs> Should I? It's one minute left of the oh, game. Should no, I? I, know. I feel like that definitely, you know, changed. We'll see. We'll see what happens. The regular season for sure. Yeah. Like, that's how I feel like. Like I'll faithfully watch the Celtics games. Every game, whatever they have, mm-hmm. I, I watch their games. So I don't really yeah. watch every other game unless it's like you know, Nuggets and like you know, a really good game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. But, like, earned it. Playoffs, I'll watch it. Yeah. No matter who's playing, you know, yeah. it's like. I feel like they, they don't really game. think about the parlays. They don't really care about that. They just really want to win. Yeah. And if they do, they ain't going to make it far. I've literally seen someone <laughs> um, film Buddy Hill and him literally ask Buddy Hill, yo, I need one more three. And Buddy Hill's, I got you. And goes, shoots a three and makes it. <laughs> I've seen it. So yeah. don't tell me. Yeah. These motherfuckers ain't doing nothing. Yeah, please, bro. Right, next question. Yeah. <laughs> Chinese food or Mexican food? Mexican food. Oh, okay. You know what? It, yeah. I like Mexican food. The problem is there's so many choices, so many restaurants here. There's a lot of hit and miss. So like, uh, like if you ask yeah, somebody, 
like a Facebook comment. Yo, what's the best Mexican restaurant? Like You're getting like options. 70 people saying different, <laughs> all different ones. Like, which one should I what's try? What's your favorite around here? Mexican place? Um, or anywhere, wherever you, your Mexican place. <laughs> I like, uh, like Tepeyac. Okay. Really oh, okay, okay. But like, on Highland Ave? On Highland Ave. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. 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 Smack. They got some of the, 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 the beer tacos. The <laughs> beer tacos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, it's, it's expensive, but I had that too. Nice. Everything's yeah, expensive. expensive. It is fire. The economy is crazy. The place I got is the one on um in Main Street, downtown uh, Peabody. Oh, that's on the that one corner. That, uh, I forgot the name of it, but it's no, okay. the Football Dad. Yeah, he, he recommended he talk, yep. he recommended That's why I went like the next day. What's his name? Tom. Tom. Yeah. I went there. I went there. It's funny. I just had one on to Mexican spot. La Hacienda in Linway? In La Hacienda was the name of this one, too. Yeah, so it's the one. No, La You sure? La Siesta, I think. Siesta. No, yours is La Siesta. Mine's La Hacienda. There's <laughs> <laughs> so many. Hey, hey, hey. La, 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 La. <laughs> How could you mess that up? <laughs> so many. All right. They're all the same. No, I'm kidding. Um, we're probably, these, these ones are going to show up to the both set of questions in the uh, next few episodes or a bunch coming up because we're in the midst of a rap civil war. <laughs> so I have to ask you, Kendrick or Drake? That's tough. It is tough. It is um, tough. Obviously, lyrically wise, because you know, it's been out there that Drake doesn't write all his songs, so I have to go with Kendrick. All right, um, respect. But that like, got, yeah. Drake is like, he's in like a, I guess like an art, like I would say like artists where like. He's a performer, like you know, like 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 a Beyonce. He's he's, like, he's a yeah. pop star. He's a pop star, exactly, yeah. exactly. So I feel like when it just comes down to rap, it's Kendrick because I love Kendrick. Okay, yeah. so I love Drake too, but it's like I've been bumping like Kendrick's music lately because I knew right, like I'm I'm like judging, but I'm like wait, I haven't even listened to Kendrick in a little bit. Let me go back, be fresh, mm-hmm. and I I changed my. I've opinion. seen him twice Remember, actually. Like yes. I think it was last week. It was like Kendrick and J Cole. Yeah, and I said J Cole. I think I'm going Kendrick now. Okay. Well, change, change, changing an answer from last answer. episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know how you're gonna edit that, Baldwin. <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> All right, we have heard news that Bronny has um, entered the transfer portal, mm. which I'm really starting to hate. The transfer portal, like, yeah, y'all just jumping around like it's fantasy basketball. Or some sh- like, I don't these go- players should have more power than the schools. I yeah. guess. But- Jeff yeah, I guess. It used to be you had to sit out a year. So there has to be I don't something. like that. There used to be I the like rules. that. Because if, that's cause if you really want to leave, there has to be a penalty. Think, I yeah. like think that. Think about how many people, especially in high school, how many careers have been ruined because, because they, they transfer schools yeah. and they have to sit out a year. Yeah. That's high school. No, but that, that goes into college too. That can like affect. Yeah, true. All right. Yeah. So Bronny is leaving USC. Mm-hmm. And a couple of teams he put, I, I saw this. I don't know if he did. He probably not. It's probably the internet. But what yeah, school... Do you think he should go to Duke or Ohio State? I'd say Duke because it's a bigger name. I feel like Ohio State is mostly just because, you know, LeBron's from Ohio. State. Yeah, right. He's supposed to his dad. Right. But I say Duke because, like, I feel like they, 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 they have a lot of, you know, NBA talent. Where, like, if you really look at it, it's like, every, like a lot of players who come out of Duke are really great. Like, Tatum. Yes, they are. You know, like, um, yeah. Brandon, Brandon Ingram, I didn't yeah. mention well, him last episode. Well, uh, yeah, Brandon Ingram. What I will um, counter that with is USC right now is stacked. That's why he wants to leave. Mm-hmm. Duke's going to be stacked forever. Okay. So if Not you want, at the guard position. True. Okay, but year. you're going to Cooper Flag. You're going to turn to just straight point guard now? Just only well, we got Cooper Flag. Exactly. He is, a, he is like a, a he's more he's a, player. He's a, yes, but you rather him go to a place like Ohio State where. They do have talent, obviously, but he can show out more. Where I Duke, think he, you're going to be the point guard at Cooper Flag. I think at Ohio State, he can become a superstar. That's, that's what I'm, I'm leaning okay. towards, too. That's I hope good, so, at least. But, but I also think the reason the O's in the USC again, is Duke because, like, Let him USC t- was talented, didn't make the tournament. Duke, you're making the tournament. Yeah. yeah and right. you're going to you're gonna play in March Madness in front of, and that's where your draft yeah. stock goes up. Yeah. I just I, think he needs, he needs to that. catch up. With experience, because he he also had a heart condition. Yeah, exactly. He barely played yeah. at the beginning, so let, let him have a full season. True. I feel like a Duke would definitely give him more exposure to like you know get, get him ready for the league at least because yeah. like you know they'll make it to the tournament though you know be a good, they're gonna be a very good team next year. Like you know you learn from your teammates too. Like yeah. he's playing with like NBA prospects, you, you know he's gonna get better. I feel like 
the 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 heart condition was scary. Absolutely. I feel like maybe that's probably why you know USC he didn't play much. I think that could have just been a, the reason why. But I heard he's really good. Like from yeah. you know LeBron yeah. says he's really he's better than you know yeah. the NBA players. <laughs> that could have been precautionary <laughs> just because like yeah. And what yeah, and, and then safe. they like. Yeah, it's your heart. You need when that. he came back, <laughs> rotations are kind of set already. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And you're a freshman. It's not like they have to like, oh, they have to get you in even if you're yeah, LeBron James. Your yeah, like, name shouldn't mean anything. Exactly. They should have played them all because clearly they went that good. They didn't make the goddamn tournament. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. freshman's a freshman though. You True. Know, sometimes like... But I've seen freshmen win titles, bro. Yeah, for, for schools like Syracuse, like <laughs> or Ohio State. <laughs> Ohio State Duke. <laughs> I feel like he could take so many shots on Ohio State that he would get all the reps he needs to catch up the year that he kind of. I heard like someone missed. say that the the the, the age of freshmen coming to college and and dominating like like a three four freshmen coming winning a title and leaving like are done like that's Perfect. not gonna that's not Things gonna happen good. anymore. Uh, yeah, I, I want to see these these how players. Do you, yo, how do you feel about staying? Let's see, three years. How do I feel about staying? Do you, you rather them stay three years or you like the one and done situation? Because I'm I'm more lean. I miss the you here two three yeah. years. You learn like, the game. Yeah, I feel like nowadays they have to stay a little longer. Learn the game because like yeah. a lot of these kids are they're pretty much like being drafted from like athleticism. You know, like yeah, just potential. potential. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Potential Literally. is crazy. Yeah. And it's like they don't always reach it. Yeah, so that's why you see like a lot of the kids, I mean, people, you know, the European players are dominating because like. They're they're playing, you know, pretty much college style basketball. You know, since like fifteen, you know, since fifteen, yeah, 15 they're, they're, they're learning all the fundamentals, everything. So it's like they come into the league, they're they're pretty much. Yeah, ready, I think, you know, I, think I agree that they should stay longer, but now you hit tricky like. You're gonna force somebody to stay in the yes. school for three years. You know what I mean? Well, like that's at least at least. Like, least, least like, uh, you now anyways. you're forcing a twenty year old to like nah, bro. Not, he's an adult. If he wants to leave school, let's say like, like now they don't like. Let's say they can get paid now. There's no like hurry to go into the league and get paid. Now they can like well, wait it out. Okay, I'm not ready right now. No one thinks like that though. They want this money. Cool. Now I'm gonna make more money. I'm gonna go over here. NBA money is is it's wild. Know, you know what JJ Reddick said? That people was like, Yo, how how many people go broke now? I was like, That they, that doesn't exist anymore. Mm-hmm. Before people players used to go broke because they were making nine million dollars. You would waste that thing. When you're making fifty a year, you're not gonna go broke. Like, yeah, right. So that's not really a problem. So yeah, you're like, oh, I'm making money. Here. But you're making what? I think the top but you go college like players nine, like what three million maybe that that year he was there four million. But if you're not so making, literally, yeah. But you're a player going to NBA. You obviously think you're gonna. That's your goal. If, say Max contract's always your goal. Armando Bacon, whatever. What? 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 And he goes. He knows he's not. <laughs> you going. You know his name. <laughs> I don't know how to say his name. I feel like I feel like his name. He's on like, your right? team, bro. Right? Honestly, anytime I say his name, I feel like I'm saying it wrong. The eighth, eighth year it's player, the Dominican yeah. in me. <laughs> it's still kind of <laughs> like Armando. Armando. Okay. Armando. Yeah. He knows. He probably knows. Like eighth year in the league, uh, college, so probably not going to NBA. I don't know if you were planning on it or was. <laughs> but <laughs> man, but like, he's, he's, he's an actor now. <laughs> Well, why not just like stay, stay longer? Get the well, NIL deals. You see them in commercials. DJ, uh, DJ, T, TJ Burns, DJ Burns, the big guy from oh, yeah. South Carolina. I don't want to talk yeah. about it. It's his fourth, fifth year yeah. in college. Yeah, he yeah, went well, to like three different schools. Yeah. You know, just, you seen that meet and greet he yeah. just had, dude. The, there was like a line going around, line. like the, the whole, yeah. like, they, like, ah, watch man, this hype is getting these Bro, kids a lot of money. They might want to stay longer. Yeah. Well, he yeah, can. With him, maybe, yeah, because I don't know if you're going to get the uh, the love. Oh, actually, he can't because he's like a different type. Of, it's a different type of well, love. He, different schools every time. I think you get free starts, so right? We're getting close to the uh, the playoffs. Yes. Who do you think, what team do you think will have a better season when it's all said and done? The Knicks or the Clippers? I'll go with Clippers because the Knicks injuries. They're oh, yeah. Injuries. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So it's like, I feel like the Clippers. <laughs> It is true with the injuries too, you know Kawhi and Paul yeah. George. They're healthy this year though. They're health, they're health, healthier. Yeah, but yeah. healthier. Yes, yeah, healthier. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. You know what it is? It's like it's like the Cowboys. Even though I was, we were arguing with Nick about Celtics being the Cowboys. No, <laughs> no, the Knicks are. He's he was the Celtics. wrong. He was, he's I was so a mad. Celtics hater. Yeah, he just like he it's, is. He's like, yeah, that was crazy. That was wild. <laughs> but like, I think the Clippers are the Cowboys, and like something about and me saying like. Charges. Because the Clippers never won nothing. <laughs> yo, it's just like, yo, they're just still. Uh, At least the Knicks like, did. I, bro, I don't care. 
Part of me is like, I don't care how good and who's on your squad, you're still the Clippers, man. Yeah. Like, it, it, part uh, of me still uh, believes it. So until I'm proven wrong, man, like, I'm not really hype on y'all. I feel like, like if Lobster didn't win, you Yeah, y'all have <laughs> dope-ass teams. You literally have Kawhi and Paul George, James Harden, and Russell Westbrook, and I don't think you're going to win a championship. That says it all. <laughs> I think Honestly, yeah, I think they have yo, a, you got four Hall of Famers and you're not team. the favorite. I think they have a chance. <laughs> to yeah, beat who? Of course they have eight chances. Everybody, everybody in the West has a chance. Hey, Anybody can come out the West. It's wide open. It's not going to be them, though. No. No, he's not going to go to the championship. Absolutely. I did have him going to the final, right. but that was a while ago. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was, <laughs> was like a while ago. killing it. Teams have changed. <laughs> but no, some people haven't been playing. and been I think, I think uh, Russ is coming back soon. He's a couple games away, I believe. All right, next one. Uh, this guy has made his return to wrestling in the last uh, a few months here. <laughs> the Rock or Stone Cold? Uh, that's tough. That is tough. I'll go with Stone Cold. Okay. Honestly, I'm I'm I'm, got, I'm, a, I'm a big Rock person. And I don't watch, I, I haven't watched wrestling, but obviously, like, you have Twitter. I think it's all, <laughs> yeah. You see the clips all over the place. Back is beyond the Rock's up. entrance is cold, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, have you seen that shit? The lightning, this guy, all of a sudden you just see him standing there all big and steroid out and shit. Like, Wearing his Versace. <laughs> his Versace vest. Versace. That was definitely the I same tell, shirt. I can tell the bunch is <laughs> ripped over. The bunch is not the same because it's been the same vest the last one. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Sleeves the rock, off. rock, I remember back in the day, you switched up those Versace shirts. But he was on the Mummy Returns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He finally got in the movie and he had that wow, crazy money. That. That's, that's oh, crazy. Yeah. We're old enough to know. Remember when Rock started doing movies and now he's looking tall? Highest paid, yeah, right? Walking Tall's a good movie. Scorpion King. Yeah, Scorpion King. He, it was a horrible CGI. What a good movie. Horrible so CGI. It was two worse CGI. It was like 2002. Great, great bro. movie. Give it to you. <laughs> All right. Better highlight. Dropping somebody or dunking on somebody? What was the first? What did you say? Dropping, dropping somebody, somebody dropping, across. Yeah. Or dunking on somebody? Uh, dunking on something. Yes. Yeah. It's because you can dunk, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. What are you supposed to say? Like, like I, I don't have that I'm option. Like, anybody can drop. Like, you know, you don't have to be. Anybody That's can why drop. I like it. I, anybody can do not it. Everybody can dunk. So yeah, not everybody like, can dunk. Dunk, Dunking oh. is already hard. Dunking on somebody? Oh, That's crazy. My whole True. thing is that, like, I don't see people get crossed up and, and drop. People so don't often. play defense anymore. I also don't. No, <laughs> they also don't always you got to guard either. somebody to get dropped, you know? A lot of people get dunked on. I feel on like now. you dunk on somebody, it's automatic. You finish that play. It yeah. happened. You scored. But I'm Cross somebody up. The crossover and comes. You like, it's, right. it's, a, it's a two package deal. It no, comes, no. It's it comes things. with it. Like no, the, it Because it wouldn't be a highlight unless he made it. You out of your mind? You know how many highlights I've seen that stop after the cross-up because you, they but, missed the shot? But in our, in, in right here? <laughs> in 806 <laughs> miles, we are only counting. It ain't a highlight. It ain't a highlight if you hit the bank oh, the shot. That's just what it is. So him making it versus him dunking on him, I could only do one of them. <laughs> and I, I made someone fall the other day, so <laughs> I felt good about it. Like, that's always a good feeling. Wasn't that I, feel like, <laughs> I feel like if you approach this question, you kind of have to look at it like compare the last, you know, last – Person who got dropped and the last person who got dunked on. Yeah. Like if you look at, you know, Anthony Edwards. Anthony yeah, Edwards. Yeah, and if you look at the last crazy. one that got dropped. Yeah, so it's like, just, which one's more exciting? I don't know. I just don't see them. That's why. With Anthony Edwards, you could have dropped somebody and then dunked on the guy. We need like, to bring it back. I don't know. I don't. Who's the, who's the like, when you think of like uh, ankle breaker? Kyrie. 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 <laughs> but who else is like, I feel like there was James always. Harden was one. Yeah, 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 for yeah. sure. A lot of things, it's, it's was, you know what it so is? Many. A lot of it is now, it's not only crossover, it's more like change of direction and more, like, <laughs> True. Yeah. more nifty more efficient than the, with that. You know, then the Iverson's like, I'm going to stand toe to toe and just literally break you. <laughs> like, yeah. like, I'm going to make my move. <laughs> get like, to like, my spot. Crack your yeah. Back in the day, we took pride in breaking someone's ankle. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm about to make this dude fall. That was always more a one on one game. Game too, yeah. where now it's like you're passing the ball around. You just pass me over here. I can do this. One move, you're crossed because you yeah. ran right by. I've seen people get yeah. dropped on a, on, a, on, a, on a jab step, well, like, 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 like running at them full speed. Like yeah, oh, people don't cross me up. I was momentum. Power of a jab step. Yeah, jab steps. Yeah. Yeah. Efficient. Very efficient. efficient. Yeah. <laughs> Fun fakes and jab steps. Underused. <laughs> yeah. Master those kids. Yeah, for sure. Free, free gem right there. Um, next one. Back to the Civil War. 
Future <laughs> or like, Iron like Man the Civil War. <laughs> America, America. America. South versus North. Yeah, that's, so, uh, yeah. I was, that's crazy. I, I say Civil War back. and you 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 talk about superheroes and like oh, you, I, I doubt you're gonna ask this young gentleman about the Civil War <laughs> with North and the South. <laughs> I'm talking about the rap so yeah, North I, or South. Confederacy <laughs> or Union. I thought that, I literally thought that. <laughs> that's that's a, he's a history oh. guy. I've never asked a history question on this show. I know, but because... What do you think his answer would be? <laughs> I thought it was a crazy question. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was a crazy question. But uh, okay, he's really asking the Civil War. <laughs> I bet the rap Civil War that we're in right now. All right. All right, all right. Future or J. Cole? What? J. Cole. <laughs> J. Cole. Jermaine. J. Cole. Jermaine. Jermaine. Cole. <laughs> just, man, what do you want me to do with the other people beefing bro? Uh, <laughs> I didn't make the match up I don't think they're beefing no huh? not beefing no. Not Future beefing. and J. Cole no, no, they're beefing. on different sides though it's Civil War <laughs> they're on different yeah. sides I, Iron Man and, 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 and you know <laughs> I feel like there's no Civil War going on people just throwing this out there I know I know they're like, this is what happened with bro, the I mean, I mean, East Coast versus West Coast six months ago we're gonna get J. Cole we're gonna, <laughs> yo you know what's funny out of all the gangsters in this rap feud J. Cole be the one that gets shot like damn we lost Cole you better not be you better not be it's like no. I didn't say he'll die. He'll make it. Does it. The East Coast versus West Coast was only about uh, a couple rappers. <laughs> <laughs> they made it a whole coast versus coast. For facts. Right. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, next one. Where am I? Jermaine. All right. Cole. New trailer to this movie just dropped a couple weeks ago. Better franchise: Bad Boys or Rush Hour? Rush Hour. Ooh. I'm going with the Rush Hour. Uh, yeah. I feel like because I think about like Rush Hour, you know, Rush Hour Two. It's the greatest yeah. movie of all time. Yeah. 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 It's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just great. the same answer everybody yeah. gives. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to really explain. Yeah. It. Yo, Rush Hour Two. Yeah, we're yeah. Like, two. We got it. We got it. Yeah. Yeah. That's all you got to say. I feel it. I feel it. If I ever made mixtapes like as a rapper, I would name them Rush Hour, Rush Hour Two, Rush Hour Three. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Yeah, this is like you and Rush. <laughs> or you can, yeah, me, me, me. And the, and the <laughs> fact the fact that Bad Boys ruined the title situation. Bad Boys One, Bad Boys Two, Bad Boys for Life, Bad Boys. Uh, the new ones should have been four. For Life would have been perfect at number four. <laughs> I know, right? like three. Yeah. What is it now? It's uh, which? Oh, hold on, go on. Bad Boys for Life. <laughs> it's like. It does look better than the, than the third one. Already. Yeah, yeah. From the from the previews, the previews do look kind of crazy. Like, you know, bad, bad boys, like, yo, bad boys ride or die. Ride or die. Bad boys ride or die. Listen, mm. listen. Like it, it's not complicated. I feel like movie people have to be complicated. Listen, for oh. bad boys, we need a lot of jokes and shoot a lot of people and do yeah, some stunts. Crazy. You know what I mean? It's high, not. It's not. High high speed speed need, we're not asking for some crazy <laughs> plot. And you know a, a reveal at the end. No, I don't. Your need long that. lost son. <laughs> yeah, the, I didn't need uh, any of that, bro. To the drug dealing joke that you married back in the Mike day. Lowry, yeah. Mike Lowry, back some whatever girl you want to put in the movie, and then yeah. shoot a bunch of people. Yeah. That, that's high speed like, chase. High speed chase. Like, Porsches and Ferraris. Nah, yeah. bring, bring back <laughs> Michael Bay. Things go boom. Yeah. Michael Bay was like, we're going to drive a Ferrari. <laughs> Michael Bay was like, we're going to drive a Hummer through a village. <laughs> <laughs> Don't people live there? Don't worry we'll, about we'll, it. We'll, we'll, we'll pay them. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> we're going through the entire thing. We already evacuated them. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Things going to go boom. Right. <laughs> I think I saw this question online, but who do you think would win in a one on one game? T Mac or Paul George? <sighs> That's a, that's a good great question. question. <laughs> yeah, right. Wow, that's why well, that that might be the top top three or five best questions from the both set of questions. Oh wow, oh, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate I'll, it. I'll take that. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, that's like what it. Because I'll be like, stop. I wish I didn't say I got the two fucking online, but right. <laughs> right. Yeah. I just said I came up with it. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna edit that out, Ballin. <laughs> <laughs> just bleep that half ours. <laughs> <laughs> what I say, uh, right? That's a tough mm. one. Oh man, they both tall. Scores. Scores. Well, I go with T Mac. T Mac. Because just because there's a couple of moves that he had that like I haven't seen him again. It's a couple it's of T Mac. It's a couple of moves that T Mac did that like, like unstoppable. Yeah. What was that move that Penny Hardaway had? And I was just like, the, oh, the, 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 like I've spin, never seen that shit. Like, <laughs> he's the only person that ever does that. I'm like, I can't, I can't, I'm I can't, like, I can't even picture right now. <laughs> it's just wow. I don't know. That's I was like, this is yeah, wild. Stopping this is wild. <laughs> I thought I'm doing. I was like, how? How's anybody gonna stop that? It was. It's a step back too. And you hit three. Wild step back. Like Paul George is like my second favorite small forward too, which is like. 
Kind of Who's your favorite small forward then? LeBron? LeBron okay. Yeah, I got you. Make sure. Paul George is like, <laughs> he's like Jordan, Carmelo. Bro. Like, oh. <laughs> if you say Carmelo, I'd be like, bro, <laughs> you paid a minute. <laughs> LeBron's power forward. No. LeBron's any position. Paul George is want. a good player to use as like a. Uh, I know. I'm starting to believe he's, that. Like, he's a 2K player that you want to put, like, build your character yeah, from. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. tall enough, yeah. has a handle, he can Crazy shoot, handle. he can dunk, he can block. That's what I wanted to play like. You can play defense. If I wanted to like be in the league, that's what I wanted to play like. Yeah. And that, that's why I understand the younger generation, Paul George is the GOAT. I get that. No, so I, I wanna, get that when the sense where the style of play I <laughs> want to play, they, that's they the thought GOAT. thought I was crazy when I brought that argument yeah. up. The style of play. Yeah. But, you took, but say he's an actual goal over everybody else. Like, I know right, I was bro, you're absolutely crazy. I knew I was going to stress And <laughs> dropped that to the group chat and just like, like it was nothing. <laughs> yeah, like, it was, like, like it was a regular we're, statement. We're all going to ignore him. Like, nah. I was like, <laughs> we're like, what? <laughs> see, just, Carmelo Anthony's son was, was saying it. Yeah. And I was just like, I see, yeah, I see which, what I he's it. trying to say. Mad little. I'm gonna, and then I said it in the group chat, and they lost their mind. <laughs> <laughs> like, Paul George is the GOAT? What? <laughs> he's 14. He can say whatever he wants. <laughs> You're an adult. You've watched the game. <laughs> nah, nah, exactly. Fine. That's why when people be going under 30, say LeBron. I was like, all right. I just wanted y'all to see it. You just, you just don't know better, and that's fine. You're just <laughs> un- uneducated. <laughs> but when people over 30 who've seen this, who've what? seen this play. He's being 47 years old. It's okay. It's just, it's what? All right, moving on. He's <laughs> Paul George. Stop saying Paul George. <laughs> Tracy, I'm, I'm Lamar, afraid. We'll, McGrady. Nah, I'm gonna ask. I was gonna ask where do you rank Paul George? We'll be here till tomorrow. Paul George against T Mac though. No, I I like you, you pick him over. Yeah. Somehow I think T Mac's stronger. I don't know why that. I, I think I think Paul George is a better defender. I've seen those scars <laughs> and veins on his shoulders. I just feel like T Mac strong. T Mac was slightly more of a dog. Like, yeah. oh yeah, like. Yeah, I feel Does he have like that record for like the most points in like the last? Yeah, Seeing that awesome. live was insane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we saw that live. Yeah. There's not so many moments that I've seen live like that, but like that was one of them. Oh, that was just, like, like, he's still going. <laughs> he used to go at Kobe. Like he yeah. makes he so makes he me said, feel Kobe like Kobe said he was one of his hardest people to guard. You know when you're like down like 20 and it's like a minute left. <laughs> Give it a team. He back. makes me feel like that moment makes me feel like anything's possible. Yeah, Absolutely. And like no, no, they still got a chance. I'm always that <laughs> yeah. guy. Like no, I've seen some shit happen. <laughs> All right. Um, next question. We're on a flight. Window seat or aisle seat? For me, because I'm tall. I had to take the aisle. Yes. Just to extend my legs. Yes. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> that's, that's, it's, it's, I love the Whoever said guy. window, it's usually a smaller person. Yeah. No, I, I like the window. I'm, I'm a window guy because that's the weird. aisle, they yeah, always run into my shoulders. Yeah. Why is yours? Okay. You watch all They always bump into me. They go to the bathroom, they bump into me. I'm just like, 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 I'm just for some warm weather coming soon. Oh, I'm tired yeah. of this. Yeah. Beach or pool? Beach. Wildly. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, I yeah. can't even swim like that, honestly. I can't swim. Well, I can, I can get from A to B. I just can't swim. You can survive. <laughs> That's all we need yeah. to do, bro. I can enjoy the, the water. That's it. I, can, I can not die. If I get in the water, I won't die. That's perfect. The balls I can give you right now. I ain't competing. <laughs> I ain't an Olympian, but I got this. No, I, I love the beach because, like, you know, you can go with friends, like, yeah. you know, Throw football around. Yeah, you know, beach is like, a vibe. It's a vibe. Literally. It is a like, vibe. You can bring drinks. Like you can sneak out. You know what yeah. I mean? My, my cousins have like you know the volleyball nets. Oh like, yeah, you know, I want to be that guy that everybody. like pulls up with the volleyball yeah. nets. Creates the vibe. Yeah, be that Do it. Guy. Creates the vibe. <laughs> be that guy. So people Do just it. pull up with nothing. Like, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> when we were young, yeah, we would literally <laughs> pull up to the beach. Bro, I wouldn't even bring a towel. <laughs> I, would bring, I would literally just show by myself with my cell phone. Like, <laughs> sit, 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 sit on somebody else's towel. Like, yeah. Yeah. Hope they got some snacks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Hope someone brought food because I didn't bring anything. Get the watermelon. How many times we like, yeah. tell everybody, we brought the melon in the. Medley of fruit. Like, yeah, yeah. fruit medley. <laughs> Man, uh, you bring us snacks. Oh, nah, somebody's gonna nah, bring food. Someone got it. Somebody, somebody, somebody got, got it. it. Nah, yeah, you got to coordinate that. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You bring the drinks. You bring the right. snacks. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you know this about Spanish people. Communication is not <laughs> high strong <laughs> point. High <laughs> <laughs> strong point. Where I thought your question was gonna be, which I now well know, playing inside or outside basketball. Yeah, Ooh, that's oh, a good one. Inside, inside all day. I think that's the reason why I, I didn't call up in basketball earlier is because. Like everyone used to play outdoors. Like you know, I lived, in, I grew up in Lynn. Everyone would go to the park. Yeah. I just felt like it was just too hot for me. Like okay, I, yeah. I couldn't really, you know, fall in love with it. But uh, football was like nice because like it's cold outside, but you have you know hand warmers, whatever. Yeah. 
But Pat once I moved to Salem, Salem, that's when I started going to this, the Marblehead YMCA. My mom's job had like like a family car or whatever. There we so go. I literally use it to go in. I literally found love because of that. I was playing indoors. Shout out to hookups. Yeah. Shout out to hookups. Oh, yeah. And it's better on your knees. Facts. Exactly. I came up in the in the and one street ball era. <laughs> <laughs> so well, that, we, that outdoor <laughs> basketball was always like my. And we grew up. We grew up right in front hey, of the park. Yo, man, yo, right. it's literally in front of the park. Okay. Shout out, shout right. out well, to Gallows Hill Park. Absolutely, yes. making a return. It's getting the closer Mecca. and closer. I doubt it, but <laughs> every, <laughs> every shout year. Out. Shout out to Vibe Entertainment. Shout out to Nerd God. Yes, sir. Mm. Shout out to. Um, P2P, about to start P2P, soon. P2P, absolutely. yes. Absolutely. Shout out Salem High, basketball, girls yes. and boys. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Yes, You're doing great. And I asked Doyle the same thing when he was on here. I'm going to ask you the same thing. I feel like because I'm media, I should get a pass. I don't know why I'm paying for these games. I should be able to. <laughs> like, I know enough people in this damn gym. Hey. I'm, I'm interviewing legends. I had the coach on here. Why am I paying the coach? <laughs> Someone give me a pass. It's for, it's you go to my games, it's free. I got you. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's VIP. Let's get it. You heard it here first. We'll be here. I see it as a donation. Yes. Donations. <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy? I went, quick I went, man. So, for, 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 obviously, I obviously, know. you know, I don't, I don't care about paying the money. You know what I care about? That I think the games are like five bucks for the for the basketball. You know how much of the band? Because my son plays in the band, the concert band. It's just like $8. I'm like, how it dare you? It should be you? more. It should be more. Why? Because they're the best, period. Oh, they are, they are, they are so much. Have you seen the trophy case? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, you guys ever lose? What is this shit? No, nah, we don't. 40 we're, years. We're number one, number number one. one for 50 years. <laughs> yeah, number one since I was a kid in high school. The, I used to love it because my senior year in the senior <laughs> show, they made that joke that the band would be amazing Beat everybody, blah, 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 but no one cared. They cared about the football team, which at the time, oh, like we the were not show. good. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, the bands are good, but, uh, you know, witches lost. I'm like, oh, God damn it. <laughs> everybody goes watches them. <laughs> no one watches the, the band. All right, we want to thank David for coming by <laughs> and you, kicking at us one time. Make yeah, sure yeah. you stop by the girls' basketball games next season. Let's get it. Go try to stop by for free. <laughs> <laughs> donation, donation. Right, yeah, <laughs> donation. I'll donate. I'll donate. Five dollars, five dollars. <laughs> Just put that rock next to that, you know, the black cat door. <laughs> oh, black cat doesn't even know. He doesn't even know what the fuck. Is the black cat even about. there anymore? No, it's still there. All right, all right, all right. Carlos, R.E.G., Carlos Sanchez, I'm Melly Man. We'll see y'all next week. Peace. Appreciate having me. So long. Fire, 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 fire. fire. 806 The Show is a proud member of the Vibe Entertainment family, so make sure you follow us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts as well as Facebook and the Gram. Leave us some comments. Hit us with some likes. Show us some love. You already know. It's 806 The Show. 806 The Show, you Take that, take that. 806 The Show. <laughs>